am Mark, your kind and generous dungeon master. And if you are sitting comfortably, we shall begin. The order, the levy. Two minor problems that have reared their heads and brought themselves to your attention. The order, a cadre of high level psionicists who have infiltrated the cities of the Tablelands with their Elan agents, kind of weird cabbage people with milk for blood. The levy, a sacrifice of a thousand souls every year from each city in the Tablelands, purportedly paid to the dragon himself. The reason for this remains unclear. After dealing the order a somewhat severe blow by thwarting its attempts to manipulate our heroes into carrying out an ostensibly peaceful mission to Gulg, our heroes have parlayed with Corganard, the legendary preserver whose transformation they aided um, in the last adventure, and at his request have agreed to join him on an expedition to find out where the dragon, if indeed such a thing exists, lives. We find our heroes now returning from Crackbone Hollow, a dried out lake bed littered with bones where the victims of Tyr's levy are brought every year to be rendered unto whatever force it is comes to claim them. Two months remain until that date is due at low sun. Two months to find some kind of answer. So you turn your mounts back north and leave Crackbone Hollow behind you, setting out once more for the city-state of Tyr. It's a, a day straight journey. You have journeyed most of the day to get here. Uh, if you head back, it will be night by the time you arrive. Unless you wish to uh, camp out in the wilderness, then we'll just assume you press on the journey all the way back. Yeah. I see a lot of nodding. I'm going to presume that was an agreement with my second question. Yes, it was. <laughs> All right. The trip is as uneventful as the journey that was here. Heading back to Tyr, you do have a few misgivings, of course. You have bloodied the nose of the Order, came face to face, if indeed a face it had, with what you presume to be a high-level member of that group. Only the intervention of the headmistress of Tyr's school of thought and the threat of learning something about its aura was enough to cause this order scion to flee. Anything that resembles identification seems to be enough to uh, to, um, to put the wind up its jacksy. All of you feel at intermittent points along the journey a twinge in your chest after effect of the haste spell to which you were all uh, um, summarily subjected during the aborted battle with the Sarnacist. Its effects upon your bodies is still like a fading echo of a gong being run in a large dark room. Still, you let the feelings ebb with each passing footstep of your mounts until finally the uh, city-state of Tyr comes into view. We haven't seen that in a while, so there's this picture. Even as you draw near, you can see... Oh, you need to zoom that out a bit, Lee. <laughs> there you go. Even as you draw near, you can see clouds of dark smoke reeking in the evening sky rising from the farm and estate lands that lie on the far side of the city. The closer and closer you get, um, Matthias, the more you're convinced that at least one of the plumes of dark smoke is arising from your farm. Head off in that direction, then. 
Okay, so Matthias spurs his mount and begins riding in the direction of his farmlands. Do you guys uh, follow him? Yeah. Um, is there any yeah. of this also in the in, in, in Portex farm direction? Well, actually, as you come around the outer walls of the city and gain some perspective, yes, the other plume of smoke is coming from your farmland, Portek. Okay. Um, um, I will uh, go in that direction then and quickly okay, uh, see whether so they're help, uh, dealing with that. Yeah. Is there any Portek fire Matthias. rising from Ra's farm? <laughs> no, those are state farms. Right? So, this appears to have been directed personally at Portek and Matthias. Um, so, as Portek peels off in one direction uh, on his mount, uh, do the rest of you continue with Matthias, or does the uh, does the group split? I'll follow Portek. I was going to say, I... I... Ra would, uh, after being kind of filled in on what, what's going on, would recommend a, a split. Um, Actually, she... hold on. Hmm. Um, I think I might be better off following Matthias because Portek can can do his own magic. Uh, Ra will then follow Portek. Yeah, Bingle okay, so... Portek. Okay, so Bingle Bangle, Ra, and Portek, you uh, head off toward Portek's farm. Uh, Matthias McFiery and Constantine toward Matthias's? Yes. Um, Straight will, 50 50 split. If, <clears throat> if, if, if my uh, my men have got it under control, I'll come running uh, to your farm, uh, Matthias. Okay. Um, so, uh, Matthias, you reach your farm just before Portek as he peels off the main road and uh, in a tiny little dust cloud, followed by the Inix on which Ra and Bengal Magal are riding. Um, heads off in the direction of his farm. Matthias, uh, you see that your crop fields are ablaze. Uh, your people are working hard to get the blaze under control. You can see several what appear to be dead bodies of your men uh, look as if they've been slain by fire. Their bodies scorched, but they would have had to have been standing in it to be that badly burned. Um, there are also a handful of other bodies uh, wearing battered leather and giant hair armor that don't wear the livery of your house, and they've been dragged to one side. Uh, and there is just a furious effort ongoing to get this flame under control. I will see if I can help using magic. Oh, okay, McFire, what do you do? I have affect normal fires. Uh, so I'm going to go over to the flames and see if I can diminish them. Okay. You draw the energy from the land around you, and there is immediate cries of, Look out, Defiler! The, the lizard's a Defiler! And you can see uh, uh, Matthias's guards draw their weapons and come racing towards you. I put my hand up. No, stop. It's not a defile. Oh. Uh, morale check, please. Ooh, natural 20. Um, either your men don't hear you or don't obey you. Uh, the sight of a spellcaster right in their midst drives them to some degree of fury, and they hurl, hurl themselves straight toward Macfire. If I see them coming at me, I'm going to run away. <laughs> oh, ten will, uh, I'll, I'll, hide, I'll hide behind Matthias. <laughs> ten will pull out his uh, quarterstaff and uh, get defensive um, in front of uh, Makfari. Yeah, okay, I was, Macfari, I was only you, trying to help. Oh. You run away or do you run behind Matthias? I, 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 run, I run and hide behind Matthias. Okay. Um, Whoever's closer. The, <laughs> the Giselle gets, gets close and tucks behind your legs and kind of head poking out from behind your legs. <laughs> Matthias, do you say anything? Your men are yeah. striding forward. Tell him to calm down. Lord, it's a defiler, says one of your men. Oh, you know him, do you? We saw what we saw. He's trying to help. Hey, says the guy behind him. He was drawing magic from the ground. He's going to kill all your crops. I look around. And I... The job that you guys have done to protect that. He's a preserver. A what? Don't do your, what you need to do, Makfari. And if you lay I a hand on him, I, you'll be in the stocks. I promise I'm only trying to help. Right, well, there's a moment of back and forth between the men. Uh, their sergeant appearing now at the sound of uh, trouble. You heard the Lord's command. Step back. Get these fires under, under control. If he says he's, he's uh, safe and acceptable, then he's safe and acceptable. No but sorry, can you make these flames so. smaller? Uh, I, I, I can, yes. 
If you can make them f smaller, I'll take care of the rest. Oh, okay. All right. I um, I proceed to very carefully <laughs> making sure nobody tries to attack me. The um, spell energy summoned. You uh, unleash it across the flames, and I can. It's an area of effect. It's ten foot radius. Um, the spell enables the wizard to cast so much fire. Small as a torch, large as an area. Well, basically, I just reduce them. What's duration? Duration is two rounds per level. Okay, so, so you've got a I good can, 20 minutes where you can walk your way back and forth through the field. Yeah, just I'm taking the, the flames, flames away. Yeah. yeah. So, and there's no material components, so it's it's just... Nice. So, all right. Um, you so, see Matthias' um, men previously happy to, to run you through with their uh, bone blades, standing back, looking on in amazement as you pretty much single-handedly douse the fire. Yes, Tim? I was going to say, Aaron, after he minimized the fires, are any left? A few guttering embers here and there, yes. Um, then Tim would just go through the rest with gust of wind. Um, and my You're not going to send them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically it's uh, 10 feet by 10 yards per level. I'm level 8 plus 1. Um, so big, big wind. A scouring Sakura runs through the field, kicking up dust, blanketing the embers with soil. The flames go out. Matthias, you turn for an explanation. Portek, meanwhile, you have just arrived to see a similar effort underway. Likewise, you see a number of your own troops dead from what appears to be high temperature fire. There are also foreign troops dead sprawled among the fields. Your uh, immortals, Ricard's immortals, have been spearheading the defense efforts and are now spearheading the uh, bucket chain, trying to uh, to get the uh, the conflagration doused. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm presuming they're using water, but they're also using earth to... Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, to batten it down. Exactly, yeah. 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 Uh, one of the uh, the, uh, the dwarf commanders of uh, Ricard's Immortals strides over to you as he sees your group arrive. My lord, Report. you... My lord, are you well? What, why? Your, 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 your face, my lord. There are... There are scars. Uh, Uruk was not uh, a happy place for me. But I survived. Barely. He looks deeply weirded out. You can almost feel the thought that's going through his head that he refuses to speak. As you say, Lord, they... Elementals, Lord. What kind of elementals? Fire elementals. Fire, Lord. And what are you these soldiers? could do nothing against them. They came likewise, setting normal fires along the perimeters, and then an elemental went through the middle of the fields, burning everything it touched. Burning our men too, Lord. Our weapons did nothing to it. No. Elementals are notorious. Eventually, it, uh, it vanished. But we have lost a good deal of crop lore. Were there spellcasters involved? I didn't... Draco here says he saw... He saw elves. Elves. Where do, where's Draco? Draco! Your uh, dwarf stamps over. Yes. Elf. You can see his eye, his face pale at the sight of your scars. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Commander. Uh, they were singing. And when their song finished, uh, a, th a, a creature of fire came. And it burnt the fields. What did these elves look like? Like elves. Anything particular about them? Anything you can describe? Something that might help me identify them? Do they look Their like cloaks? Uh, had 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 brown brown circles touching their eyes. 
like a like a pattern on them and they had them on their face too like like eyes paint or yes. t- t- or tattoos or what yes paint or tattoos you're not sure no they ran away we killed some of the others though the you soldiers know. yeah yeah yes okay we have taken six prisoner okay let's have a talk with these uh, six prisoners and bring the corpses Tyus, in as back well. at your uh, back at your uh, farm it's much the same reports of some kind of elven element singers a fire elemental summoned into the fields while human soldiers set fires along the perimeters and uh, a significant loss of uh, of crops and uh, and some of troops as well okay have we got any prisoners uh yes your men have captured four i will go pay them a visit all right um ra bangle bangle anything you're doing at portex farm while he's uh so is the flame he's... completely extinguished at this point not completely, but um, without the help of magic, it's taking the uh, people at Portex Farm a little bit longer to get it done. But uh, they are slowly getting managing it, making fire breaks, covering okay. the uh, the flames with earth, dousing them with water where possible. Right. Um, Ra would probably have been, I mean, during this conversation, probably have been helping them. Um, but okay. once it's under like control and they're able to actually sort it, uh, Ra would accompany Portek in paying these people a visit, hoping that maybe she uh, can be intimidating physically um, <laughs> to these people. <laughs> right. And uh, what about Hobbit Chops? Um, so he would also have been uh, helping sort of fight the fires where he could. Um, and uh, I think that he would probably also go with them, not for intimidation, just to see what happens. He's okay. interested in the drama of it all. So sooty and stained and sweaty, Ra and Bengal Magal, you arrive in uh, the barracks of uh, Ricard's Immortals, the uh, the, the name that uh, Portek has given to his dwarven soldiers, um, to see half a dozen bloodied and battered men tied up uh, in a little group on the floor. Uh, Portek standing over them. Portek. Who's the leader? One of them jerks his chin. I'm the leader. Who hired you? We cut a deal, yeah? You let us free. We'll talk. No. We've been paid. No sense in dying now. Rock cracks her knuckles and stands behind him, like, trying to look intimidating. <laughs> you see what you've done to my estate. Have you looked oh. at my face? Do I look like somebody who will uh, forgive that kind of behavior? I wait patiently. Oh, give me... Give me an assurance. Let us know we're going to walk. We're not your enemies. We're just Ardans. You can tell me now. Or, or can you can get it from my corpse. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. It sounds to me like you're looking at us ending up dead either way. So it doesn't matter what I say. So I'm offering you an alternative. Give us a deal to go, and no one has to kill anyone. Well, that depends on the knowledge, the knowledge you're going to give me. Because what kind of assurance do I have then that you're telling me the truth? What assurance do you have that any man's ever telling you the truth? You shouldn't be such a cynic. Trust me, when you're dead, you're telling me the truth. Well, then I'm calling you a bluff on that. Hmm. I've offered you a deal. I think it's also the way that you die. You want to kill some helpless men? Go right ahead. 
like you killed the helpless one outside outside there on the fields. You're gonna have to come up with better threats than that. Honestly, I'll kill you. Yeah, sure. It's how you die is the threat. Look, whether the threat comes from your scarred little face or from your pet gladiators here, and results the same. I stand on his foot. Oh, well, okay, it breaks. He screams, yells, swears. Oh, oh, so sorry. <clears throat> I heal his foot. But, uh, holds his tongue. You heal it? Yes. After okay. he's done screaming, I heal it. So, we can do this all day. <clears throat> all right. Uh, how about, okay. how about it is you who shows me some good faith. You tell me the truth, and if it's good enough, I let you go. What do you want to know? Who hired us? Yeah. Mimphors. What do you think? The Minthors, because we're competition. Yeah, you got rid of the competition, and now you, you figure you're it. So, now you're not. We're not. We have a completely different crop than the Minthors. No. Well, look, I just put the torch around told to put it. Fair enough. Um. Matthias, back at your farm, you have managed with a similar bevy of threats and insults. Oh, I was going to go in with a detect lie first. You can go with the detect lie. All right. Um, then that is sufficient to ferret out the truth in fairly short order. The uh, four men at your farm are in considerably worse state. Portek's uh, troops, well trained, managed to take a half a dozen prisoners. You've got four, two of which are barely alive. The other two try a little bit of uh, deception, but your ability to ferret out the truth puts that to a halt, and they tell you the same thing. The Minthers hired them. And they're not lying when it's the Minthers. No. And in fact, he further volunteers that the Minthers hired elven element singers from the Stone Runner tribe, paying them in gold to use their uh, abilities to summon fire elementals and set them against you. Mm. Do I know where these elven tribe live? The nomadic elven tribe in the uh, eastern tablelands, in the western tablelands, sorry. You could track them down if you wanted to. There's, there'll be two to three hundred of them. I'm not talking about it aggressively. If they've been paid to do it, I want to know who did it. If it was definitely the Memphis, if or if someone's just trying to start a war again. Your uh, your detect lie ability reveals that when he says it was the Memphis, he's telling the truth. As much as he believes. Which it ones anyway. are the Memphis again? The Minthers are the family who you helped in order to gain use of their troops. Um, you confiscated the entire year's grain harvest of the Freydlau family. Oh. The Minthers are uh, from the family that got Tunisa killed. Thorassi Minthor. Thorassi Minthor, yes. yes. He's the guy in the... In the, uh, in the market. In the market, whose who's, uh, servant pushed Tin into uh, uh, the, um, the cabbage salesman. Um, leading to the combat that got Nissa killed, indeed. Okay. Good to remember. <sighs> How much of the uh, stock have we lost? Okay, so to take in an assessment, I'll give this for both of you. Uh, Portek, with your farm defended by Ricard's immortals, you have lost 50% of your crops and 10% of your troops. That number comes from your mercenaries and from the immortals as well. Matthias, you have lost 60% of your crops and 20% of your troops. Wow. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a devastating attack by any reckoning. Okay. <clears throat> Particularly with, with harvests so, uh, so close around the corner. Exactly. That's not, uh, this is what done on purpose. It's not something that we should, uh, actually, um, I can, I can assume that this is the moment we uh, come together as a group? 
So you're going to return? Yeah. Where, where yeah. are you going together as a group? Just outside one of the farms still? Or going no, to go no I, was, to the, I, was, I was going to go to, uh, to, to Jade's to farm. To Matthias's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So um, Portek, Ra, Bingle Bangle, you arrive back at Matthias's farm. The same heavy pile of smoke is hanging over the landscape. The setting sun has turned the entire area to a field of smoke and blood. The air itself illuminating the motes of smoke seems to be tinged with crimson as you stride through this cloths are wrapped around your face for uh what? Farmville. I have a look, a, look around. Yeah, I don't remember Farmville being really. this difficult. Um, how did they get, obviously, uh, what was the, their access into my farm? Because obviously my farm lands are covered by ramparts. Yeah, so they uh, fought their way up to the rampart, climbed over the top, alerting your guards. Portak, it's a similar situation. The mercenary's main job appeared to be to work as a distraction. Right. To, to bring the fight, to attempt to, uh, to set fire to the fields, to get your men riled up, just enough to have a couple of sneaky elves slip through and summon fire elementals. Okay. And once that happened, there was, there was no stopping it. Yeah. The, your men are quite simply not equipped to fight creatures like that. And it would appear to have been nothing more than the duration of the spell that brought the attacks to a close. Okay. Very well. So, Portek, you rejoin the others, Thanks. along with the gladiators. So this will not stand, what the Minthers just did. Oh no, definitely not. If, if we are to survive in this city, then uh, that kind of thing needs to be answered. So what do you suggest we do about it? I look at uh, Matthias. You're on the council. Oh, they'll be expecting something in retaliation. Well, didn't you guys take out their competition through the Templars? Hmm. Maybe it's their turn now. Wouldn't they like us if we took out their competition? We did that already for them. Didn't we? Uh, yes, Anna, you? Anna, yes, you know who the Minthras are. Are, are you are you guys now competition? Is it possible that they see you as a threat? Of course. Ba apparently, yeah. Although, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm not growing the crops that they're growing. Seems to me like they're um, trying to just get rich. Of course. Yeah, I don't think it matters what you grow. They're going to see anybody growing anything now that they have a, a little bit more power um, as a threat. Well, they fuck or, with the wrong people, I think. I don't really well, think then show them that. I don't really think this was a threat. I feel like they went past that stage. Oh, yes. I mean, yeah, they fully attacked. So, what, like, if they are expecting an attack, could it be a trap? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It they clearly intend to provoke you. Why don't we speak to the, um, why don't we speak to them? I think we I'll should be happy to leave this in Matthias's hands. Well, I think we should probably just pay them a visit or send them a bard or something. Well, you can do both, can't you? At the same time. Yes. I kind of expect them that they would come to expect that. Mm. We know where the, uh, the wretched what? son lies. Why don't I go pay him a visit first? What crops do they grow? Faro, uh, as far as I remember. What what kind of a plant is Faro? Is it a tree or a shrub? Faro or? is like a it's like a, a tree. The uh, the needles. Um, are used for a variety of things, and the the fruit that it has, which only only comes around a, a once every uh, once in a blue moon, is extremely valuable. So it's a dual output crop. And they make a, a flour from the from the needles, as far as I remember. Yeah, yeah, and teas and various other uh, other things. Yeah. But that's correct. So they they were uh, uh, faro producers. That's what I remember. And what were you guys making? I was just so curious. Grain. Just grain. 
Ja, så det var jeg. Hvorfor det går, så går det grain farm. Ja. I specifically stayed away from the pharaoh. <laughs> I looked at it, but didn't do that. What if, what if this is the distraction? What if they're at the mansion or something? Uh, the money of our estates lies in the in the estate itself, not in the in the in the mansion. The mansion can be rebuilt. But yeah, we should we should, we can have a look. Uh, we 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 return to our, the mansion uh, on our estates. You, you saw that there was nothing going on there, and there's not much for, for them to find in my estate. I would say. Or um, oh, you mean you mean the villa in town? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so, she she's she's referring to like, basically what she's trying to say is is uh, could this be a distraction and their true thing be good because it doesn't make sense why they would burn the crops really uh so she, at least not in ra's head so she's wondering if they're doing something else while we're over here they're crop farmers hey but uh um, sorry but your estate um is not the same location as your uh, as your mansion oh sorry i, I did not realize that sorry yeah, his villa his vill is in the city yeah ah. So then we should have a, a good look at the, 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 the villa, I think, because um, there's something there, remember? Yeah. We'll go. We'll go back to the villa then. Yeah. All right. Uh, you head back to town. Um, there is a contingent of Tyrian guard meets you halfway. Come to investigate the fire. Do you give them any specific information? No. That the, the, our farms have been attacked, and we're trying to figure out uh, what and who by, and we're in, in process. Well, they ask your permission for uh, to have a look around. Please do. Yes. Command, Commander salutes you, and they carry on riding out on their quad loop, I, I them, off to go. And... I give them uh, a, a symbol of uh, my approval for my uh, estate guards. Okay. Hand it over to them; they will know. Okay. Good. Um, what are you, uh, your prisoners, by the way, are they being kept there on the lock and key still? Yeah. Okay. You I'll head into tier itself. The fruits of the ones that were mine. <laughs> Did you say you slit the throats of the ones at yours? Yeah. Okay. All right. Make your way down Caravan Way into the Nobles' Quarter. There is no sign of any uh, unpleasantness at your villa, I should say. However, Can as I... you approach, yeah, go ahead, McFarry. Oh, uh, bef- I'm, I'm, I'll wait until we're in the villa to do okay. what I was going to do. Uh, as you approach, a small figure hops down from the wall where he's been sitting. He's eating one of your pears, Matthias. Do I recognize the person, or...? It's Tebow. Oh. He steps forward. I've been waiting for you a long time. <clears throat> a long time, he says. You can hear his voice is actually in the process of breaking. Oh my gosh, little man finally you, growing where up. You, where have you been? Why have you come back here to this desolate town? He looks over his shoulders into uh, into your garden. Um, there's, there's a few people I needed to come. They said, and by this point you've kind of step forward into the uh, into the, the gates to your gardens and inside you can see that your lawns, your flower beds, the trees the benches the steps are all dripping with halflings there's got to be 30, 40 50 of them they appear to have already gotten into your uh, into your kitchen, and certainly into uh, into the uh, the fruit trees. My guard's not done anything. 
What are they going to do against 50 halflings who claim to know you? Uh, what guards? You mean the pile of bones in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the guards kind of looks a little bit sheepish. Um, the little one, he said you wouldn't mind. They didn't seem to be... Uh, they said they were here to see Bingle Bangle, sir. Tebow kind of just stammering and just, just looking up at you, Bengal Bengal, with big tearful eyes. A uh, muscled halfling woman strides up, puts a hand on his shoulder. Bengal Bengal. Hello, that is my name. My, my name is uh, Jossa Jossa. Nice to meet you, you Jossa Jossa. We've already met, but you probably don't remember. It was in in Karana, that morning when you were when you were showing uh, some of the militia those close quarters combat moves. Oh yes, I do remember you actually. Yeah, I'm the one you gave the black eye to. Yes, uh, sorry about that, by the way. Well, it looks like it's healed properly. Yeah. So, um, look, we live comfortable lives in the forest. But what you talked to us about, what you showed us, what you fought against, well, there's more There's more to to life under the dark sun than, than hiding beneath the trees. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? There's murmurs of assent come from uh, the assembled group. You, you showed us what a halfling can do. Oh. So... If you'll have us, we've, we've, we've come to serve with you, to learn from you. What, like as a uh, friend? Even we know bad things are coming. Yeah. You need, you need your own people at your side. That is true, but listen, I... I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I just hope that you understand that this isn't going to be particularly easy. I don't know how much you know about what's been going on down here, but we're looking at uh, potentially a lot of shit happening. So I just need to make sure that you're okay with being out here and not living a cushy life in the jungle. You can you can handle it. You yeah, can show us how. I've lived my whole life like this. You understand. It's not going to well, be easy. You'll have, you'll have lots to teach us. We're not afraid, are we? A chorus of no's, no. Well then, bit, Tebow says. Tebow, you ain't got nothing to worry about when I am your sensei. Okay. Now, I uh, think I need to talk to probably Matthias about some sort of lodging for you guys. How many of you are there again? Um, well, you're kind of counting them. They, they won't sit still, but... Uh, Obviously uh, not. Jossa laughs. There's, there's 50 of us. Oh, good. Right. Well, I should go find out if there is somewhere in the city that has 50 rooms for halflings. <laughs> well, my farm has some spare bunks for now, I'm sure. And I'm sure Portex has as well. Yes. Well, uh, that's you're, you're my, settled then. You're Matthias, Jossa says. Oh, yeah. You're Matthias. Yes, he is the uh, master of this house. So treat him well and stop eating his food. That goes for all of you. Too late for that, I'm sure. We'll get some more. Tebow taps Jostra on the side. Tell her about the half giants. Half yeah, giants? Her. Oh, you mean Dr raw? No, Jostra says there's a mercenary company. It was in tier yesterday. They, uh,. They say they used to serve up in Uruk. 
but they turn their backs on that and they've come to Tyr looking for the woman who killed so many of them. They figure they have a better chance with her. Right. But they wandered off around midday. I'm not sure where they are now. Well, Looking we you, can... Probably. Yeah, we'll uh, keep an eye on that. Milling Thank around town. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, oh, I broke another one. <laughs> oh, this Erdlu's dead. <laughs> yeah. Who could have done this? <laughs> so, Jossa claps her hands. And uh, there's a series of flutes and whistles and chirps in the halfling tongue. Um, Bengal, Bengal, she's basically chivying them uh, to stop ripping the uh, the plants up by their roots to get to the bulbs underneath and eating yeah, all the fruit good. out of the trees. Mm-hmm. And they settle themselves down um, because they're going to find uh, find somewhere to, uh, uh, for them all to rest. Um, um, I that, asked uh, Tebow if he would like to stay with the other uh, troops, as it were, uh, or if he would like to stay in the house. Jossa says I've got to go back to Corona. You've got to go back She's, to Corona? She says I'm too young to learn to be a gladiator. <laughs> you have to stop doing that. It's gladiator. Like you laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, you know, Jotsa has a point, right? I mean, look at you. You're still a little wee man. It's job. You- Job's here if he wants it. Demon Ty says I can stay. Yes, but you're not fighting. You can stay here, but you, there's no way in hell I'm seeing you on that battlefield, son. All right. Come on, Matthias. Uh, what, what what can uh, Tebow do around here, huh? There's a lot of work around here. And I look at the garden. Maybe some gardening. Hmm? There's Nature, always work right? on the farms, too. Ah, you uh, can work with big, strong Ra on the farms. I'm quite good with plants. You are quite good with plants, that's right. So why don't you give this garden the love and attention it so, so desperately needs right now. <laughs> and, uh... All right, I suppose, um... Yeah? Well, right, that could do with a, a bit of water, and the soil over there needs perfect. Needs turning over. Um, well, you, I'll just leave you to it, okay, and uh, I'll, all right. And he I, jumps okay. up and <laughs> hops off into the uh, into the shadows of the uh, of the deepening twilight. Unless the rest of you have been standing around uh, ogling, you will have made it indoors by now to uh, <laughs> to find Matthias's uh, house staff in a somewhat uh, somewhat flustered state. Um, busy trying to restore order to the kitchen and uh, take inventory of how much food has actually been pilfered by uh, the small halfling hordes. Um, McFarry, uh was... Uh, while this is all going on, McFarry is going to carefully just walk along the walls, especially around the door and maybe around the, 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 the main door in the hallway of the house and do a detect magic um, as, a, as a thief ability. Yep. The, yes. You know, just, okay. just kind of touching the walls seeing if anything has been done to it. Yeah, can you give me a roll for that? Yeah. Uh, one second. Sent you a message, by the way, Jay. Just reading yeah. it now, yeah. 32, that looks like a pass to me. It does. Yes. Uh, okay, so... No, you detect no magical emanations around the house. Okay. And the outer wall sort of Likewise, door area? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Nope, okay. nothing. I just kind of keep doing that. Yep. I mean, I can't have done that much while they were doing that, so I'll just keep no, kind so of milling around. Done a circuit and yeah, good. Yeah. See if there's anything untoward. Find one of my... Okay, uh, what about the rest of you? I find one of my servants, uh, one of the people that works for me. Um, Tin's making an observation of how much older everybody seems to look. You Rar. estimate a, about a year. Rar is following Macfari, touching the walls, and she's like, "This is fun." <laughs> um, d- fun. Were okay. were any of you hit by the uh, the figure in the <laughs> middle of the that appeared in the middle of the of the middle of the room? I know myself. And Ra were hit by it significantly. 
Were the rest of you hit by that as well? Yeah, I was. Do I hear them talking about this? Yeah. Do I have do I know what was what happened there? I mean, I have spellcraft and knowledge arcanology. You can do me you can do me a spellcraft check. My heart started going really fast. Yeah, mine too. It was yeah. uh, weird. That must have been the haste spell that I cast. Oh. Okay, so that that was that was what happened to our heart. Yeah, it speeds you up, but it takes a toll. I told you. What, 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 what's the, what's the toll? The toll was what a heart attack or? Yeah, you, you, you... no, it it takes a toll. It's a strain. It's a, a spell I, I rarely cast. I've been able to cast it for a very long time, but it's a risky spell. Okay, so whatever she hit me and Ra with must yeah. have. So I'll the rest of you because Rob, no offense, you can't see, but if you feel your face, feel mine, feel Bengals. We normally don't see the passage of time because we're around each other so much, but we've all aged. You look older. There's more gray in my beard than there was hours ago. Whatever she hit us with, I think no, no, it, no. I, I, the, that most likely was this, this, the haste spell that hit you. Um, it, it, it speeds the timer. From from the from the wall as I'm padding along. Oh, that's a haste spell. It can it can it can kill you. Um, cool. And it, Thanks, and it, McFarry. And it and it, can <clears throat> age, and it can age you too. Oh well, there you go. That's what well, happened. Okay, so can I ask what would have happened if we had died? Like, I mean, it's a ri- you said it's a risk, you never cast it, but you could have killed everyone in that room. No, no, no. The chances are very slim. And the weak persons have a bigger chance of not uh, surviving, but there's not a weak person among us. You'd have to but be there quite are old older to, to die from that, though. Yeah, but some of us die sooner than the rest of you. Like who? Well, like him, he's human. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Oh, Tin won't die. Yes, he will. We, and, all, we and, all die in the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's just save that for special occasions. Well, that is exactly what I've been doing. Exactly. We trust you, Portek. It's fine. Thank you for helping us in the battle. Yeah, thanks. Um, um, I, I wish I could have helped you more. The fact is that we are at a severe advantage, a disadvantage with... with creatures like that. We were very lucky that that lady showed up. Yes, we have very little against psionics and we have a lack of magical weapons to hit creatures that That, hide behind um, there. That reminds me, when I got I don't think it would have helped us at all during that battle. That creature has nothing we could have done against it. So My magic magic missile hit it it perfectly. No problem. My, okay. my, my Lotulus isn't magic, um, and the guy didn't like magical weapons. Um, he said if we wanted some to talk to some elves, but I think the elves don't like us right now. Well, this... Also, everything they've sold us in the past, for the most part, has been fake. Yes, um, so magical I... weapons are extremely rare. We are very lucky to even have one among or two among us. Yes. Okay, so can I can mm. I make a thing that if any of you are spell casters or things that each and you're going to use things that could potentially kill us we should probably know beforehand just so that, that way if you scream up I'm scream something along the lines of I'm going to use a haste spell the well, sp- older gentleman can take a a, a, a a pill for our heart or something so we don't explode I was going to say Portek maybe don't cast it on tin again I mean imagine what he's going to be like when he's older yeah, when he's Look. 30. Oh, God. It, it I'm ages, 30. I'm, it, all, I'm already older than 30. <laughs> it, it, it ages you a very tiny amount. So That is one year of your life you never get back. All right. If it's a year, it's nothing to me and you, poor tech, and I don't know about the, the lizard folk here. But to uh, humans, obviously, as you know. Uh, we're, 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 my species is Josal. Josal. Yeah, I keep yes. forgetting. Jo- Josal. How long do they live for? Josal. Josal. Josal, yes. Josal. Josal. You're saying it weird. 
<laughs> Joe's all. You're doing Joe's, it Joe's weird. All. Anyway. Um, either way. I need to, say, I need to were, send for my friend. Make no mistake, I don't cast that spell lightly. You were about to be killed. We need yeah, every, I mean, every, I, if you think about in the instance that it was used, it was either uh, age one year or die altogether. So Thank I you. really think yeah. that Portek saved our asses on that. Oh, no, I didn't say that he did or didn't. What I'm saying is we should know if something like that can affect us. Because he said, yeah, we age a year, which is, at the grand scheme of things, not the most. But he said, you could die. So what if he casts it and two or three of us actually end up just dying? Look, the chances, again, of dying are, are really small. Ow. It's only for the, the weak who are not physically strong that the chance be, uh, becomes becomes. Uh, we don't have we don't have those in our group how often can you cast that nine percent for me <laughs> i could die with nine percent because if you can cast it a happen. lot <laughs> can you can you not just cast it on on our enemies a bunch oh um, <laughs> no that'd be bad that'd be bad uh, okay it would i think the yeah I, I would have to agree that the um the effects that would be gained by casting it on our enemies would be um you what if we did it really it, work, it, it you what can't we, cast it on enemies it only works on allies on allies what yeah exactly really really <laughs> fast a lot of times no you can't cast it on enemies it's i don't get, it's, it's, I don't get magic no, no i know it's unfortunate <laughs> it's kind of the best way yeah. anyway be i'm thankful. going to send for Corodius. Okay, so the uh, question is very simply whether Carl is willing to play her now, and if not, then she's unavailable. Oh, um. <laughs> You've reached the voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> Call back later. No, 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 that is, that's okay. Uh, what I'll, I'll do is um, Portek is going to go back to his estate to, put, uh, to see whether everything is in order and make everything uh, um, in, in order there. I'm presuming that... Uh, Jade is going to uh, try and deal with the Minthor thing. Um, I already have uh, this, I all so. my decisions on that respect to him. He has the most clout in the city to uh, deal with this properly, I think. Oh, he's got clout. Yeah, he does. He's, he's part of the city council. Damn, son, he got mad clout in it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, uh, Portek will uh, <clears throat> briefly recede to the estate and I'll make a, a brief uh, appearance as Kirogas. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I just lost music feed, by the way, so I'm just reconnecting that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why it was so quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. How dare you? You've ruined my life. My immersion is ruined. <laughs> Let us know when it's back up. It's ruined, I tell you. Zero out of ten, never coming back. Until yeah, next it's week. Misbeha it's misbehaving right now. I'm not quite uh, sure okay. So we're just going to press on. Okay. Um, and I will uh, deal with it as I can. As Literally as I unwatchable right now. Unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so it will take a couple of hours for uh, for Carodius to be able to put in an appearance. Can I gather some information while we're waiting for her to turn up? Yes. I want information of where the heads of the house of the Minthers would be, uh, you know. Where yeah, give me a, a gather information check for that, please. Da, da, da. 13. Uh, okay, nice. Um, so they're either going to be in their townhouse, which is a villa much like yours, and theirs is just off Iron Square. Uh, or they are going to be in their actual farm, which is uh, off outside town. Um, it's very much a similar setup to what you have. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for like uh, ways I can place some destruction. Like uh, poison okay. their food or something. Uh, you would be able to the best way to do that would be to actually break into their house and uh, and physically poison their food. Just get some, like, really strong, uh, like, uh, oh, what's it called? 
the like bug killer that you put on. Oh yeah. Uh, the on um, plants. Mm-hmm. Ah. Insecticide. Or That's whatever. it. Just yeah, get lots, that, that lots would of that. Whoever eats it. Well, no one would buy from them again. <laughs> well, there's our thousand souls sorted. Yeah, exactly. Matthias, do you want any? Do you want anybody to go with you while you're? Um, well, presumably, you're just gathering a bit of information I'm around just town, waiting for Corodius to turn up. I know we saw their son in the the uh, town, uh, the Elven Quarter, one time. Yeah, you saw him at uh, Kalax Demise, a really, really awful tavern. Plus, yeah. During. Yeah this time ra would probably head if, if she knows that we've got some time until our friend arrives that she's probably going to head to um the fields and we'll yep. try and bring tin with her she'll like pull yep. him aside yeah it's not hard uh, she just says like hey come with me he's like okay hey come with me <laughs> come with me if you want to live and uh, she'll pull him aside and go, um, I was thinking about your stuff that you can do. Do you think yeah. if we worked really hard, we can maybe fix the problem that happened today? You mean fix the plants or deal with the people? Because I can do both. You could do both? Well, what I do to the people won't be very kind, but... Oh, I thought you meant bring them back. Okay. Oh no, 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 okay. no, no! I can't do that. No. Um, I I was talking about the plants. If we if we work really hard, maybe I can get Zorak, and we, if we you know focus, and maybe we can salvage this. If you guys are okay to work through the night while they sleep, yes. Do we have like plans for tomorrow? Like big plans. We haven't made any plans yet. Because as for as long as there's no plans, she would be okay with this. But if it should only take yeah. Yeah, if we if would tell you it only takes it only take about an hour. Yeah, if it turns out that like there's gonna be plans for the next day, I don't want to risk exhaustion. So like yeah, if as long yeah, as you know, I'm with yeah. you. I'm with so, you. So um yeah, she'll she'll then grab uh she'll get a time with Tin that he's okay to try and Ra will go and fetch Sorak and just kind of be like, hey, we've got this idea, wondering how you feel about it and hope, hoping that he... Zorak can... is in his, his usual kind of uh, a bunkhouse at the edge of the, of the state farm. Oh, you're back. God, I was, I was worried. Oh, hi. Um, I, I, I... Unfortunately, there was um, some fires on uh, Matthias and Portex estates, the fields went up in flames. Um, I saw. I didn't know that was theirs. Yeah, I um, was thinking that. Um, so you know, Tin. Um, he has. Yes, some, he's really nice. He is really nice. Um, he has some powers that allow uh, that that help with uh with plants and stuff. It's secret though, so you can't tell anyone. But. Um, I was wondering if you would be willing to spend some time with me and Tin uh, this evening and help try and fix the crop situation. Is he a druid? Uh, I think he might be kind of now. A little bit. Druids are, are good people. I will help. Yeah. I like Tin. I like Tin too. Thank you. Good. I'll uh, see you insert time here that we arranged. Uh, <laughs> in the in the I'll in the... see you then. <laughs> okay, and she like very like shyly scuttles out, but because she's like thinking about him, she accidentally misses the door and like heads butts the wall and is like, <laughs> and then I'll go and actually go through the actual door and <laughs> head, head my way back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You like cactuses? <laughs> Do you like cactus? What's your favorite cactus? <laughs> no, I don't like cactus. <laughs> okay, the music should be up and running again, but it's really stop starty. I don't know what's going on. Tin, Tin is traumatized by cacti. I'm going to check it out in a minute. Um, Constantine, what exactly are you planning to do, by the way, just so I can get an overview of what your plans are for the, for the fields? Um, so I'm going to be using a fair bit of a speak with plant, but I'm trying to think if I can use entangle in an interesting way. 
where I use it instead to force the growth of the plants. Rather you than could, but it but it has a duration, so it won't last forever. There's, um, plant, there's a plant growth spell which might help, right? I think third level, isn't that? Of, uh, isn't that which which sphere? Uh, uh, cosmos. Um, I think it might be. Let me see. Yeah, plant growth. Okay, yeah, I could use plant growth. Let me go to my uh, roll twenty and find out how many times I can blast that baby down. Okay, that'll be in the it'll be in the in the player's handbook, I reckon. I'm I'm going to it right now. Okay, cool. Um, oh no, no, I'm not looking for that. What I'm looking at is um, I'm looking for how many level three spells I can cast. Oh, Ra sure. Ra and Zorak's plan is basically to like like move the soil so that it's like actually able to have growth with yeah, it and stuff like it, that yes. just basically aiding tin with like the heavy lifting okay interesting matthias you return back to your villa to find that the uh the halflings have headed out okay the promise of uh, a free bunk and uh decent food at your farm means that you now have a, uh, an extra cadre of halfling defenders there, whether they realize it or not. Uh, Tebow remains behind. Okay. I, uh, I go to my office and just sit down and, and sort of like start calculation stuff and wait for Corodius to turn up. It is uh, not long before she arrives. My friend, please sit. Her, her palanquin hey, appears at your uh, at your gates. She's used the public surface, and so she pays the two uh, palanquin carriers. All right. And her dark robes wrapped around her. The lady Corodius enters your villa once more. Yes. It's good to see you, my friend. I need your help. <clears throat> Seems uh, going into farming may not have been as profitable as I'd hoped for the first year. We've been attacked by the Minthal family. So those were your estates? Yes, mine and Portex. Oh. So you were targeted as a group? As a group. Anybody else? Outside of your group, also attacked? I don't believe so. What makes it worse is the fact that we wasn't even growing the same crop. As whom? As the Minthers. Oh, it was the, min the Minthers. That's right, Mark, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Minthers, Interesting. Yeah. They hired uh, elven elemental casters of some sort and some... Anyway, they had fire elementals burn the crops. I've lost 60% of my crop. And poor Tech has lost part of his as well. Is there anything we can do to repay them? And thank them somehow? <clears throat> I think we need to make sure first that it really was them. Really, really was them. Yeah, I agree before we do something horrible, which we can't take back. Mike Fari, by the way, um, just for information, uh, a Templar, a woman Templar has turned up and is in conversation with Matthias. I kind of listen on the periphery of the conversation, just pretending to look at the walls and well, I see him. checking them for magic. I'll just invite him in if he's, if I can, if I can no, see no, him. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm doing what I've been doing all this time, which is literally walking along the walls and seeing if there's any kind of stuff. You don't really know what he's doing, actually. Yeah. He's just kind of rubbing the walls. He's not hiding anything, so... No. Um, Matthias is not hiding yeah. anything, so... Is there okay. anything you can do to find out if it was actually them? Yes, and I will do so. And meanwhile... Well, since it is uh, your birthday, isn't it? I'll have something here for you, then maybe that might be poetic justice to use. And she produces uh, a golden ring. Remember this ring? Ah, yes. Remember what it uh, summons forth? I do. Uh, it might need to be <clears throat> brought to uh, 
a minter farm to uh, repay the visit. I think that would be good, yes. Well, it's an option, it's an option, but here uh, the ring is yours and you can do with it uh, as you please. Um, What's in the ring? He's asking. Karodius, the voice stops you in your tracks. Looking around, you see Tebow is standing in the doorway of the garden. Oh, What's yes. in the ring? Tebow. Tebow. You see that she is totally taken off guard. Uh, I, I, are you all right? How have you been? She, uh, she walks uh, to him and, and, and gets uh, he, on he his backs height. away. He, he backs away immediately. It's fine, Tebow. He's a friend of mine. She's a friend of mine. Tebo knows me. I know. Yes. Bagal, Bagal, you're watching this presumably just from the from the shadows in the garden outside. <clears throat> Kronis uh, is not who she was, Tebo. Kirodius recovers her composure. Okay, as long as you're you're good and healthy. I am. I I am free now. Yes. I'm happy for you. You can see he's trying to fight back tears. <clears throat> For the very careful observer, you might see that she might be doing the same. But she's not showing, is she? <clears throat> Gets back up. Anyway. Oh, you asked. There's a fire elemental in the ring. You can summon. It is something. Tebow that turns and runs out into the garden. Bingle Bangle, you see him just quite literally erupt from the lit interior of the house out into the shadows of the garden, and he throws himself against your chest, wraps his arms around you, and just bursts into tears. Well, so I comfort him, um, but I don't say anything. McFarry uh, watches this happen and walks into Matthias's office. I've, I've checked your house for, for um, magic. Ah, thank you. I, 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 had, I haven't found anything. Um, something I was thinking of perhaps uh, might be useful. Um, how, how big is your farm surface area wise? It is da, 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 120 acres. Um. Can we translate that into square feet? <laughs> nope. It's a big Feel amount free. of land. Feel free. Anybody, Lots. Anybody Lots. Anybody in the world? Oh, goodness. Up, you like? no, wait, Hold on. Allow awesome. me to Google it. 120 it's, it's acres. 4, 43,560 feet per acre. So do that times 120. Let me did do that. You, did you want it in Holy square feet? Crap. Big yeah, numbers. okay. Okay, okay. So that's never going to work. How many nerds pitches. does it take to calculate square feet? 100, 120, <laughs> 100, 120 acres is 5.227 E plus 6 square foot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that yeah. means. Thanks, uh, yeah, Google. No, no. I don't know. I don't think Google. I mean, I counting letters. So it's it's, it's, it's um, 5 billion acres. Over 5 billion acres. 5.227.200.000. Five, 5. 5. Rob, we ain't going to be able to do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. How never dare mind. you do this to Russ McFarry? Yeah, seriously. Well, uh, now we're all worse for knowing that. Thanks, mm -hmm. McFarry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big farm, McFarry. Yes. Yes. And I, it's not what I had in huge my huge farm. You wanted to protect it. I wanted to see if I could do something to protect it, but it's going to take a while. <laughs> surface area <laughs> of you, my you spell. Mean ward, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
out in the garden, uh, Tebow pulls himself away from you. I just wanted her to say sorry. I know. I... She, did, she didn't say anything. I think she's just surprised to see you here. Maybe. I look stupid. No, you don't. You look like you've been crying, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I um I might go and get um some apples to eat them. Want me to come with you? That's what you do with apples. No. 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 I'll be I'll be fine. And looking decidedly unfine, he uh, tramps off toward uh, toward the kitchen. I've taken a big hit, Corodius. More so much that I may not even recover from it unless I get back to work. It's tasteful, isn't it? Work. Oh, well, it's quite fun, really, my work. But with things afoot, it's trying to get some time to do so. We still, I, realize, uh, I still have 40% of what the crop would yield. Again, that's a, that's a huge hit. Um, why don't we have a talk with the mentor? I am, of course, uh, at least that's what they consider me their pet templar if you can um, maybe we can have a discussion and clearly show them how mistaken they are in that respect um, i mean what happened to the frayed laughs might also happen to them right oh as if they feel threatened by that i don't know maybe they've got something else in play if it is them. Well, that is the other thing. We need to make sure it's them before we do anything. Well, let's find what, out if that what, is them what, first. What happened? Well, who have you pissed off lately? Well, not them. Only I can only imagine them by creating a farm. But again, we, want, we aren't growing the same crop, so... I don't know. Let's uh, find out. I will get back to you uh, as soon as I find out some more. Thank you. Um, meanwhile, I suppose you get along with your business. I um, have another thing I was meaning to ask you. Um, I'm looking to set up a house with everyone here. Right. Uh, I personally would like you to be a part of it. And I, I can obviously approach the others in regards to that. Um, that's, that's very generous of you. Um, in what, what role do you expect me to play? I've not house? even thought about that. It's just Look, something you, with... You, you know I've got your back. I know. Uh, um, Likewise. It's just something that I'm pondering Look. over. I mentioned it to the group and... Not many of us know much about it, but I think it could be worthwhile to our group, especially as I've now have 50 halflings we need to feed and equip. <laughs> that, 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 that is, look, I like him, Tias. Um, I think I've been, for me, I've been very clear to you about that, uh, more clear than I've been to anybody else about this. Um, but maybe not as clear as some people would be in these kind of matters. I keep my cards close to my chest. It's what has kept me alive all these uh, years and has got me where I got, where I have gotten. For me to be part of your house means that everybody has to be on board with that. Exactly. Um, and I know for a fact that not everybody likes me. I know for a fact that I don't like everybody else as well. 
That's something that everyone's going to have to get used to then, isn't it? Or work around. Well, I, I, I am absolutely open to that. I think uh, one of the things that drives me, Thais, is the, the one thing that has been good to me, and that is this city. It has made me prosper and made me survive. And I do a lot for this city. Um, and I believe you, this group, you specifically, are good for this city. And it's what this city needs. And we will uh, have the same goal. Absolutely. But you know that I am who I am, and I have my methods, which are not always the nicest. I know. Uh, but then again, if, <laughs> if you come to think about it, I have killed less than any of you in this group in my lifetime. Uh, you're a bunch of murder hobos <laughs> compared to me. So uh, we all have our, uh, our our flaws, let me call it that way. Um, but we all have our contributions to bring to uh, this endeavor into this city. Well, hopefully over time, you and the others can learn to even build up a friendship like we have. But anyway, for now, find out what you can. That would be great. I'll, I'll get back to you shortly. Um, Tebow's you... working here now, by the way. He's my gardener. Oh. Um, she turns very quiet uh, again on the subject, but then she... You see her eyes uh, are... Maybe, uh, maybe uh, I know that you didn't harm him or anything, so maybe another relationship there that, that you can rebuild. Yes. I've wronged Tebow terribly. I realize that now. Yes. Um, but I don't know how to make that right. I have no idea how to. I know how to. Don't, 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 don't be, make no mistake. Tebow is my child. This is how I see him. And there is what, an whatever, easier way sometimes how to make things better, Corradius. Whatever, whatever notions uh, mistaken, misguided I had on how to build my family unit, um, he is and always will be my child. But then again, I know that you cannot always love your parents. No, I certainly didn't. So, and he has that right, considering what I uh, put him through. And Very true. But as I said, there's always one way of trying to make amends. And it only takes one word. But anyway. If he's ready for that, I am, I am too. Who knows? He may be out in the gardens on your way out. Thank you, anyway. Okay. And hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Yes, you will hear from me as soon as I have some more. Um, actually, I will make sure that uh, I'll be back here tomorrow at the latest with some information, if not all. Um, are you going to be here or are you have, do you have pressing matters otherwise? otherwise? Uh, I may be here at the farm. I don't know. If, if I am anywhere else, I will leave a note. So, sorry, what did we, uh, um, just out of, out of character here, what did we actually agree to with Corbinard? He said he'd be, he'd be back in a day or two. He okay. has to prepare, i.e. memorize four million spell levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Four million? Kirodias, mm -hmm. well. hey, um, um, I, I will see whether I can find him, and then I will just quietly make my way out. Are so you guys still in the villa? Yeah, I am. Uh, Yes, there. I'll, I'll be back with you just in a second, Dwarf. Um, there is no sign of Tebow in the gardens. However, as soon as you exit the house, you can see Bengal Bangle is sitting out on the front steps, just partly illuminated by the lamplight spilling out of the villa. Hey there. Hello. Long time no see. Yes. Yes. So, what brings you to Casa de Matthias today? Uh, Matthias called me here. Oh, I see. Pertaining this uh, mishap. 
that you uh, <coughs> recently uh, that recently happened to you? Yeah. Well, if he's asked you for help, then uh, whatever help you can provide, just want you to know that we're uh, grateful for it. A moment. Tibor looks good. Thank you. Yeah, he's um, he's doing good. He's really happy. I'm happy to hear that. If uh, there is opportunity, or if he uh, if he wishes to speak to me or see me. I would very much like that. But that's I think up. I think he wants perhaps to see you, to talk to you. Maybe to ask why, if anything, but what he really wants from you, genuinely, is an apology to him. He deserves one. Yeah. I can give him that. And it's up to him whether or not he accepts it, but I think just hearing it, it will do good. Okay, I'll be back here tomorrow. All maybe, right. Maybe then, uh, if opportunity allows, then... Of course. Maybe you can help me set that uh, up. Hey man, you're always welcome here. I mean, sorry, my lady. Gal and gal. I'll see you tomorrow. Out in the fields, Karodia, uh, Ra and uh, Constantin, you've been busy for an hour or two assessing the damage. Yes, you could. You could improve what we have. What 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 would they have here? But repair all of the damage and restore plant life to the, the entirety of it? Not in a single night. It would be the work of many, many, many days. If we could get a lot of these halflings to plant the, as many seeds as they can tonight, we could affect a very large area, but the seeds need to be in the ground today. Yeah, Matthias doesn't have stores of seeds that would come with the harvest. You're literally three weeks away, two weeks away. This is the whoever did this chose the perfect time. Mm. Without the seeds um, and an ability to get them in the ground, then we're not going to be able to do anything. But at the beginning of next harvest uh, or at the next season, I can make the ground the, the ground very bountiful, more than enough to make up for whatever he may have lost this season. Well, that's something worth considering. I guess you can head back to the villa to uh, to report on this. Yeah, uh, Ra being kind of like saddened by, I, I I don't. So Ra wouldn't have even known the size of these fields, and I think like Tin probably would have filled her in on like the size yeah. of the area, the uh, scale, and well, the. W weirdly thankful to our overlord Google. Apparently, it's not really that much for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I then, do. Yeah, I do a, a very large area and it, it would encompass it and some. <laughs> so yeah. um, I think once, you know, so, Zorak heads, so she'll probably send Zorak <clears throat> back like home or to the uh, the villa and then, um, yeah, they'll they'll head back and Ra, do you want to take Zorak, Zorak, do you want to take Zorak <laughs> home and I'll talk to Matthias or I, look, we're going to be a going on an adventure. Uh, here shortly, and you may not be able to see him for a little bit. Okay. You know, go go talk about you know things. Okay. Also, oh. don't wait too long before saying things that need to be said. Uh, okay. Uh, Does she look confused or? Yeah, she she's a, she's um, very. So confused. he'll he'll pull on her arm lightly, pulling her down to him a little bit. He's like. If you like the boy, tell him, because 
chances are he's scared to say something. And if you say something, it will put him at ease. It's obvious you both like each other. Stop pussyfooting around and just do it. Oh, I already told him I like him. Does he really understand the way he's acting? Be blunt. Pretend it's a gladiator match and you're trying to make sure your other your opponent is scared. Be very forth with them. Say, I like you, you're mine. However it is you say that, I don't know. I don't know how half giants do this. But whatever that is, do that. But be as be as be as strong and confident as you are in the ring. Okay. Now I'm gonna go let Matthias know that his props are screwed. Well, he we he didn't know anyways that we were gonna try this. It was like... Well, we, I'll tell him we have some ideas that could help next season. I won't go into details, obviously. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Oh yeah, good luck to you. Let me know how it goes. Okay. And then I'll head over to Zorak and just be like. I, I just wanted to let you know that I like you. Oh, uh, th- that's good because, um, uh, well, I I also like you. So, See, that that's so, what I told Tin. So we I like don't... each other. Yeah, I told I told Tin we know that. Are they are they loud I... enough that I can hear this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Tin oh, as well, though. But 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 I like you more than Tin. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna turn around and loudly say, "Then do something about it." When they, when he says, when they go, I like you too, but I like, he's going to be like, just do something about it. <laughs> now, I'm well, stopping well, and turning around and watching them. Now. I'm just like waiting for them to do something. You don't, you don't that, kind that of see they're not oblivious. Because that, that's you not awkward at fum- all. <laughs> fumbling I, with I, his, I look, with I am dadding this. Uh, Constantine, you, if Zorak is fumbling with his tunic, of course, Zorak can't see it. And you can see him biting his lip. And then, he just sort of nods as if, as if coming to some in, internal decision. What, what, what I mean is, um, uh, I, 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 I like you more than Tin, so that means when, when you go away and, and, uh, and do adventuring, I am waiting for you, not for Tin. I, I will, I will, I, um, <clears throat> I don't want to like any other half giants but you. That's not fair to the other half giants. Well, I don't care about them. I only care about you. Thank you, Zorak. Halflings, on the other hand, he's got a thing for halflings. <laughs> he's like, I love all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> like that? Was that? Was that good? I can't finish a whole one. And he turns around to me, see, is that good? Yeah. Good enough for now. And he turns, and I'll put up my hood right. and start to, start to walk Thank away. You. When I go away, I, I, I miss you too, and I look forward to coming back to see you. And you're my favorite half giant. You, you can't see him smiling, but you can hear it in his voice. Then we are a good match. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Tin. Just I'm just uh, waving as I walk back towards the villa. <laughs> so you make it <laughs> you make it a good distance back to uh toward the city. Um when you spot a figure hurrying towards you. Heavily cloaked on the main road that leads up toward Caravan Gate. He uh, runs up until he's uh, stops a few yards away outside of weapon distance. Smart. Holds up two empty hands. As his cloak falls away, you can see the black robes of a Templar underneath, including the, uh, the old sigil of King Kalak. I'm holding my bow. Yeah, you are uh, you are Constantine, are you not? Who are you? Speak fast. I am I am called Templar Moab. But I am not 
And he holds his hand and produces a bone dagger, which he draws across his hand. White fluid runs from the wound. Speak even faster. And I'm knocked and, and pointing. Hearing, I mean, I, I presume I'm with Tin at this point. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so hearing this, I will ready my Latulus that, you know, he's obviously, I can hear him ready his bow, so she's readying her weapon. I need your help. I need the help of you and, and, and your friends, and... Please, you, you have to help me. Uh, last time we were involved with one of you, it was very painful. What do you need? I need someone to get me away from Tyr. He's killing us all, one by one. Who's killing you? I don't know. One of them. One of the Order. Don't say that out loud. Come with us. Up. Uh, Roth, I even cough. Take its head off. And I, I will... promise you, you. Yes, go ahead. I was just gonna say I, I will keep my little list like ready and almost like raised as as I continue to walk. You know where our villa is, correct? Yes. Start walking that direction. We'll be. I'll be. I will. Somewhere between one and ten yards behind you. Templar Marb turns and walks, pulling his cowl around him, and just back over his shoulder hisses, I promise you, you won't regret this. I have a very I'm great deal to tell you. I'm looking at everything. I am watching all around us. <laughs> all right, then, on that paranoid moment of suspicion, we will call uh, a break. Okay, Constantine, you return to Matthias's villa. Hot on the heels of... A somewhat harried looking man in a Templar's robe, whom Matthias's guards stop at the gates. But then seeing you and Ra walk up behind him, one of the guards gives you a quizzical nod, Matthias. He stands aside, admits the Templar <clears throat> and the half giant and Constantine. Templar, as soon as he's in the grounds, pulls his hood back from his head. Uh, you can see he's a middle-aged man, slightly jowly cheeks, graying salt and pepper hair, looks haggard, rings under his eyes. I, 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 th I thank you. And uh, he turns towards you, Matthias, and raises his hand and just spreads his palm over so slightly so the cut that he'd made in his hand that had previously healed over now opens up once more and beads of white fluid appear all across it. And not that yet impressive. Oh, no, no. Uh, well, you would also see that Tin has an arrow ready and Ra looks like she's gonna put her little through his neck at any moment. Um, yes, he uh, encountered me on the road and um, said that he they're all being killed by Someone, we won't invoke the name, um, and wanted uh, assistance. So I figured, yeah, might as well hear him out. Yes, I'm um, sure we uh, shall, shall we speak indoors. It's uh, a little a little less exposed, if you don't mind. Matthias, you're home. Sure. Heading indoors, uh, Makfari, Bengal, Bengal, Portek, if you're present. No? Um, sure. It's up to you. Yep. Uh, you see Matthias ushering in a, uh, as I said, a harried man in a Templar's robe. He uh, sits himself down really awkwardly at uh, on one of the large chairs. Um, my name is, uh... Well, they call me Templar Moab, but as I've said to your companions, I, I, I am not Templar Moab. 
Uh, I am what you uh, come to know of as an Elan. Yes. And I come to you to, to beg your help. First question, how have you not been discovered up to this point? I thought they were cutting everyone. That is starting, and that is why I must flee. That is why we are being killed. Well, yes, you're Something... infiltrating someone, so why would they not kill you on sight? I think he means his own people, because he's, you know, doing what he shows so easily. Maybe that's why they're killing him. Something um, happened here yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, it is... It blows like an, a chill wind of change through our ranks. They are ending us. Destroying us. That's a good thing though, right? If you are not if you're one of them. For, oh. Not for me. Why? Are you really a real person? You have feelings? You have emotions, do you? Are you like a human? But you were just... I, White goop. I don't know what I am, but I'm afraid, and I don't want to die. Well, tell us everything you and know I'm... about these things. Where can we find them? Why are they doing this? And then we'll consider keeping you alive. We're all I will tell you what I can, at but some I... point of our lives. No, oh, oh, my dead gods! What an awful concept. Oh, um... I am. Um... Go ahead. I was, uh, I was part of Templar Rack's cell. Yes. Or should I say, the land that replaced Templar Rack. Yes. And when he was killed, um, I, uh, well, I, I kept my head down. But um, I have been observing and passing information to um to oh. to Diamina mm -hmm. the land that replaced Diamina of Lubar she remains active within Tyr she is in Tyr or not yes she has remained here coordinating activities I, I, I think there's an alliance between them and the lion No, 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 no. Well, she's she's meeting someone from House Lubar tomorrow. Okay. To get her out of here and and and, and to pass on information, she's compiled a, a fairly comprehensive dossier. The Amina has she been tested though? No, she's she's hiding somewhere. You know for a fact that she's in the land. You, you've seen her killed twice. Yeah, I can say, yeah. So how has she been killed twice and come back twice? How does that work? They have... Ah, um, oh, I know they, they, they need... Normally it's blood. She's actually still alive, isn't she? And they're just cloning her. That might be true, yes. They might be drawing upon her, uh, uh, tapping the vein, so to speak. And do you know where this could be? Uh, not in Tyr. Oh, I do not think any of them are actually in Tyr. So when... Uh, There's one nearby, though, and he's, he's close enough to kill us. He's killed three of my cell already, just today. Really? Yes. So, th so look. This is what I'm asking you. You have contacts. Hmm? You are, you are, you are great lords and ladies and traders and warriors. You can get me out of Tear. Get me away from here. Get me away from him or, or her or whatever it is. You don't know. No. Okay. And what does he look like? How does when he appears? I, to I you? don't know. I don't know. A voice comes. Where? Where they? I have a, a, a couple of questions that I need answered first. Where is Diamina now? Where is she hiding? Do you know who the king below is? Oh, I know who that is. 
some semi-mythical crime boss who's supposed to live in Undertear. Mm-hmm. She has, I understand, paid handsomely to be allowed to reside in the court of the king below. And from there, she's been orchestrating what last fragments of our cells remain in this city after your handiwork. Well, whatever you did the other night, that's 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 really that's really put the kivet amongst the kips. Now, uh, now it's all being shut down. It's all being uh, it's been cleaned out, eradicated. How is the Lubar representative uh, going to pick her up? Do you know? They're meeting at the games tomorrow. Okay. It's a big gladiator match. The arena is supposed to be almost full. They're just going to do it in broad, broad daylight. Why not? Yeah. How do you change form? What? How do you be become what you are? How are you created? I don't know. There's a place. There's a. There's a. There's a white room. With with pools in it, yellow pools. And you remember what? Suddenly coming being? out of the pool. And you yes, came out coming of... out of the pool and knowing knowing all the things that Templar Moab knows. Okay. And this happened when? How long ago? Five years ago. What were you involved with in those five years? You were here before Kalak perished. Did you help him his, his, his downfall along? We were gathering information on the ziggurat, on the armies, and then passing it on. I do not know to whom. Why are they trying to start wars? Is this what you people do? <clears throat> I have thought of this a lot. I think... I think they hate the Sorcerer Monarchs. They hate the world as it is. And it is a terrible world. You, you cannot deny this. Immortal God Kings and their Templars. Yeah, we try to fix that in tier and you still meddle. There is no sorcerer king here, yet you still meddle. You remain useful. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how, whether or how we can protect you. Why come to us? We can try, but we had a lot of trouble fighting this thing off that tried to attack us as well yes if it comes for us or it comes for you i don't know whether we'll be able to fend it off well then you got to get me out of here tonight where and, to and you don't think it will be able to find you wherever you go if i get far enough away quickly enough away maybe maybe what else no. what other hope do i have i don't know do we not have a, maybe a contact in the in the in the Ipsonic school here that might be able to protect him. No, I, I don't want to stay here. I'm talking about protecting you from being found. Whether that's here or elsewhere, but you need magical Ipsonical protection to not be found. The school of thought won't give it to me. Why not? They'll just, they'll experiment on me. They'll, they'll, they'll want to find out how I'm made and wait for them to come to come for me and, and try and expose them that way. No, you've got to get me out of here. I've give I, I've told you everything I, I, I can help you with. Hmm? I've given you I've given you a way to to, to, to bring in Diamina. That's true, you did. To, to, do, do you to know stop, who to stop Do you know everybody who was replaced by one of you, Elon? No, I do not. But you can give us a list of the ones you do. Or the ones that were. All the ones I know were slain by either you or by that thing. I am exactly. the last of my cell. 
but the ones that were slain by whatever you are fearing, we did not know about. And knowing who they were will help us. For us to help you, you have to help us, meaning we need to know who was being impersonated by members of your cell. My cell was in the Templars. Still useful. Are there still, to the, are there still, the, yeah, sorry, are there still I, I, members of the cell uh, active? No, I am the last. Okay. You killed Rack. I, I fled. What happened to the originals? I believe the order has them. They My abduct was them four. and take their blood. I believe so, yes. So, so they, they have need the them individuals in, alive. They have them imprisoned somewhere. Or, or they kill them and then that, 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 that's it. Like they did with the, the, the woman uh, from, uh, what's that house? The one we, uh, we uncovered. Her corpse was found. Bingong. Yeah, but that means that once, uh, apparently, if I understand it correctly, at once uh they don't keep the person alive and, and they kill they can them. only do it once do it once and with the amina they most likely either have the the original the amina to remake her time and time again do you know anything of the process of your making do you know whether you are born with all the memories of your previous ilan if they remake you i don't know what you mean about previous uh, i know only that i have always been templar moab you're not really in the know of their process on how to make uh, Elan. Why would you yes. give something like that to a tool? It, you want the tool stand, to know. It's you want the hammer to know how to hit it. Memory is reset every time. The logic does not okay. follow. Our cell was four. Myself, Rack, and Templars Vitana and Loxala. All of the security bureau. Huh? Vatana and Loxala were slain today. Rack, you killed. Yep. Um, what do you suspect is the creature that attacked us? One of the order. Are they people or are they something more? Um... They are, are people, surely? Men and women, masters of the way? Yeah, they're afraid of being exposed. That's their biggest oh. fear. Which kind of leads to me to believe that either if they were exposed, they would be recognized as somebody from the city or somebody people know. Or maybe if they're exposed and then you can see them, that means that they're become targets for other spells and things. Maybe that's uh, something that they're worried about. Please, I, I, I beg of you, find some way to send me away. You have sorcery, perhaps, that can do it. Or, or, or a caravan to smuggle me away on. I don't think the, the further away you are from this place, the... I believe that they know how to find you no matter where you are. That would be my guess. There are spells that allow you to be hidden. I, I can see whether I can get a hold of those. I don't want to wait! I don't have the spell. I don't know the spell. So I'll have to get it and learn it. I don't know whether I can get it. I mean, that's also all an if. He sits his head in his hands. Oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have come. Then he gets up and stands and starts then, pacing then, around the room. Then you would have been dead, like your other men. men. At least here you have some form of protection. Do you plan to help me or not? Yes. How? I think the first thing with uh, well, this is, and I look at, at the other people in, in the room, 
hiding you from where in a, in a place where it's unlikely that they will find you the only place that i think that that your pursuers fear is the school of thought agreed the or um the only ones capable of protecting you we are not equipped for that Also, they fear that place because they they are capable of piercing their shrouds of secrecy. We could negotiate for you to say no experimentation, just pure hiding. Do you think they will listen to you? No, you not at all. Promise you that? Promise them that you will give them information freely and they might consider it. Yeah, there's no guarantee they won't experiment on you. I mean, let's just be blunt here. We can ask if that's a condition. The lady seemed an honorable type. But what is the alternative, yeah. huh? Death. Where is I don't know. I don't want to do to you. Your pursuers fear discovery more than yes. they, and this is the reason for their for their pursuit. They slay you to cleanse the slate. Yes, I think so. So going to the very people who they fear yeah. is the only play. It makes sense, <clears throat> and also. You have to realize the fact that they kill you means that you know something or through you there is a way for others to glean information about these people. Otherwise they wouldn't kill you. If you couldn't give away anything, they wouldn't care. <clears throat> That's true. So what is important is the information that you have been giving so far. You need to give us a, a, a countdown of all the things that you have been providing, because that will provide an overview on what these people have been busy with. If we know what the kind of information you've been giving exactly. And the same things for Diamina. We need to get a hold of her and get, a, get that information she has. And she's going to hand over. Well, she will She will be at the arena tomorrow. Then, then I am convinced call your your friends at the school of thought i i deliver myself into their mercy we will we will negotiate for you uh, and we will try and see whether our our weight carries enough to uh, ensure your safety i thank you i can't make you any guarantees of course but i'll do my best maybe um Maybe that's something you could ask uh, your Templar friend, uh, uh, Matthias. She goes to school there, doesn't she? I say we take him there now. We escort okay. him there. Okay. Are you doing that as a, as a group? I'd highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, and I suppose we uh, make sure that he's in a, in, a, in a palanquin or something, so that he's not uh, seen. And I can use m some disguising abilities, perhaps, to help hide your identity. That's a good one. Something tells me that is not going to matter, but... Read. Let us be underway as soon as possible, please. I uh, use my disguise ability on him to just kind of shift his clothes a bit here and there, maybe uh, add a yeah. sash or something, you know, just... Yes, no need to roll for that. We'll assume that's done. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, then you set off very rapidly, your small group, escorting this uh, one of Matthias's palanquins out I'm going across... To... Yes? I'm going to trail the group um, by about 60 feet down the street. Keep okay, an eye on them, fine. but I'm going to keep my distance. I'm going to try and take him like yes. back alley, you know, like secret ways and 
well, out of the main street. Yeah, you, before long that becomes impossible as the entrance to the Golden City draws near in which the School of Thought lies. But you do skirt the edges of the Warrens and then around the Ziggurat to the edge of the Brickyards. And then finally approach the uh, the Golden City Gates itself. Uh, Matthias, you're immediately recognized and uh, you and your entourage are admitted into the finely paved enclave that appears to have not suffered not one bit in all the months before, during, and after the war. The School of Thought is not far from the main gate to uh, the Golden City, and at your request, Headmistress Sysia Strimmon, grey hair and her habitual grey dress, emerges onto the street. I walk forward in front of the group before they get there and tell them to hold. Okay. I go quietly explain to her exactly what's happening, but also mention that although that this creature has come to us over his own free will, I am worried that this is exactly what he wanted. Well, I I'm will not sure. I'm not I will so ensure much that's good. You're not there. I will ensure that suitable safeguards are in place. Uh, her brow furrows briefly. There's a tremor of telepathic turbulence around her head. We've also given our word that he won't be experimented on. Please, he's, he's willing to give you everything he, needs, he knows. This is our first opportunity of having an alarm as a potential ally, if he is indeed that. <clears throat> I said to you only yesterday to bring me one if you could, and you have done exactly that. My gratitude to you, Matthias. Oh, I remember that gratitude for when we come for lessons. I give us a rise to I'll invite everyone over. Templar Moab, or the Alan who's masquerading as him, steps out of the palanquin. Templar Moab, I presume. The Alan nods. Yes, we, we, we've met. Yes, I know we have. She takes his elbow in her hand. Come along. You have nothing to fear and ushers him in through the uh, great outer doors of the school. You can see in, just inside in the shadow there are guards already waiting to take him into custody. One of them puts a metal helm over his head. And we do have uh, opportunity to ask him questions later, right? If questions arise, I look at uh, Matthias. She's, uh, she's willing to help us out like we helped her out, so yes. Yeah. I've told her. We will learn everything we can, Sasha says. Thank you for your assistance. Tear is once more in your debt. And uh, she turns and the doors of the School of Thought close on Sasha Strimmon and the Alan who has now gone into her custody. I was about to meet Mr. P. <laughs> we won't be seeing him again. So not appearing in the rest of this campaign. <laughs> well, so head, in, head in a jar. If we're lucky, this is exactly what the Order wants. That's what I thought. Oh, you so, say it's in character? Yeah, it's in character. This Hopefully is exactly, exactly what I said to her. That's why I went forward. I've got a feeling that this is exactly what the Alan wanted. The Alan or the Order, because I'm hoping it's what the Order wanted. I thought it may be what the Order wanted, which is why I pre-warned her. Yeah, my, my hope for it is that if it's what they want, then while we're on our excursion, they won't escalate or or speed up any plans they have in our absence. 
because they'll they'll go forward as as usual because now they're back on track and their plans are being followed. Hmm. We will return to Tyr from our excursion to find the school of thought a pile of ruin, <laughs> and we'll know why. Oh yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna know again very quickly whether this is what they wanted or not. Not much. So do you return do back to the villa? We walk off to an exploding school behind us. <laughs> no, don't, look, don't look back at it. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what cool people do. Yeah. With the Neelon just riding on the flames like, yeah! <laughs> so, have we any made any progress on the other matter, uh, Matthias? You know already a bit more. I have Corodius looking into it for us. Ah, Okay. And uh, hopefully find out in the morning when she revisits. Okay, good. How's your farm? I've lost 60% of the yield. I lost half. And 10% of my men. I lost 20% of my men. It's, 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 it's a momentary loss. Next year we will do what we can to make it as bountiful mm. as possible. If I don't recoup these losses, there will not be no next year for me. Likewise. They killed me with this uh, little upset fire. Well, it was the perfect time to do it. Clearly. There's no way for us to recover. Well, there is. By taking something that's not, not ours. I could return the favor and hold my hand up with the ring on it. That one, no, what, too what? obvious. Um, if you want to really hurt them, then hurt them privately, where it looks like it's their own incompetence, because that's going to look 10 times worse than if somebody acts against them if they can't even handle their own business when they're unaffected. No, I say <clears> just burn their fields like they did with you, tip for tap. Um, but okay, that doesn't save our uh, business. So we need to find a, then, another source of revenue. Well, why don't we just take it from them? Also, burning their fields would affect the people of Tyr because their crop is feeding the people of Tyr. In part, of course. But okay, the, you said Corodius is working on something, more than likely, probably stealing their crops already, correct? Potentially. <clears throat> okay, then there's not much more we can do there. If Corodius is already working towards stealing that, then decide whether you want to approach them personally or with a bard or with a bunch of us doing something shadowy and sneaky and then we have other business to attend to hmm. i know that you're hurt by this i understand you're both in a bad way but we have other things moving that are much bigger the problem is approaching them with a bard is quite easily reversible on any of us as you've seen in the past mm -hmm. <clears throat> with thanks to tick tick and Bengal, I was only just able to survive that. Okay. I still need so to repay the gentleman. So this is the, the second time. Actually. So this is the second time that they've came against us. Uh, the first time wasn't them; it was Tyrion. Yeah. Who nah. obviously now rots away in jail. Well, I still need to pay him a visit. I want to buy that gentleman some food, and his son. Did you know that the, uh, the person he was beating? As a slave, was his son? No. Oh. Really? Yes. All right. Well, then let's. Uh, he seems like kill a him, Free the son. Let the son take over, <laughs> and the son owes us. Problem is, is that uh, deep down I knew that, but I didn't recognize him. But so so let's give the son what he deserves: leadership of that land, and he in turn can pay us for our good efforts. The son's not happy with that. This is a different family, anyway. This is Tyrion. Yeah, don't confuse families. Yeah. Tirthani. Tirthani. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not saying, no, I'm saying that if that's the case, maybe we can do that, surplant the problem with the younger, and then still get a recoup on our investment, and then we can visit the other one later. See what our friend Corodius can do. Let's rest up. So Corodius will, will be back in the morning with uh, the information she's been looking for all evening long. Unless there's anything you guys want to uh, address in the meantime, you can head back uh, to the villa and uh, see what food the halflings have left. I'm actually going to do something to the garden 
um, yes. that night um, because I figured there are there any thorny plants in on the way in in the garden. Yes, sure. There's 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 uh, bramble weed all over the place. Okay, I'll grab a couple of thorns um, for mm -hmm. components, and um, when we get to the villa before we go to sleep, I'm going to cast um, backlash on all ah, nice. the plant life in the villa. Okay, cool. Well, what does that do? If anyone tries to defile in the villa and use the life energy of these plants, it'll bite them. Oh, if, shit. If, I'm, they, I'm sure that... If they try to defile, but not if they try to preserve, right? No, not if they try to preserve. Okay. okay. Well, if a, if, if a defiler does come to the villa, we will know. It's permanent until it's activated. Tin is. Oh, I don't know if I know that. I don't know how many spells I would need to cover the whole garden, um, though. So. Jade, what are you? What were you saying? You don't know what? I didn't know if I knew that my lands were your guarded lands. No, Ra does. No. <laughs> Matthias is a very intelligent person, though. He's not stupid. He he hasn't meditated in front of you. Uh, yet, yeah, so you might have noticed you're eyeing his bush, though. Yeah, leave my bush alone. <laughs> if you'd like, I will, I will make sure that I, I do not. I will make sure that when it comes to the plants on your farm and home, if you would prefer, I will do nothing to impact them. Can you at least like be a good friend and trim my bush? I think Guys. you can handle that yourself. I mean, at some point, you got to take care of, uh, of some of your own business. And sometimes, sometimes you can also just get a merkin. Um, <laughs> that mind you eating my pears, but leave my plums alone. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. We are going to you move sm smoothly to morning now at the uh, at the Villa Matthias. You guys have spent something of a, a restful evening after the last couple of days. It's it has just been one thing after another after another but a quiet night's rest where nobody sneaks into your bedrooms tries to assassinate you and no absurdly overpowered scions materialize in the living room to use their mind blasting powers um, counts as a, as a good night bonus that's always good Protek will have you um, out with first light checking your fields that is going to uh trying to repair and, and 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 recover as much as he can. He'll be using uh, some uh, earth magic uh, where he can to uh, yes. recover crops and stuff. Yeah. I just rolled to recover and my skibels over the rest. Yes, that's fine. Um, Corodius arrives shortly thereafter. And the funny thing is, you know, you never see her and Portek in the same place together. Just... Are you Batman? No. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is Batman. Uh, Corodius, you have spent an evening accumulating information, as I said before, word on the street and in the Templarate and on the council, is that yes, it's the Minthors. They have decided to uh, test the political landscape in the new tier in the uh, most audacious way possible by striking at those who much of the city sees as its heroes. This has won them some... Uh, should we say accolades from some of the more conservative elements, but uh, at least a few of the uh, the younger noble houses, and certainly some of those with whom you worked closely in the run up to the war, most notably House Valex, um, center of House Valex, uh, and also interestingly enough, um, the uh, Toothcutter Gang have also expressed uh, uh, a disapproval for this, which, coming from a gang of the Warrens, is perhaps a, a peculiar encountered them before or are they just like the tooth cutters have appeared on and off uh, in the, in the background to things a couple of the party members have contacts with them but they haven't actually right. uh, appeared very much on screen yet yeah they've just hurt matthias or the mint uh, minthers have just hurt matthias which is in turn really hurt the tooth cutters yes yeah. badly and that uh, yes, because Matthias worked very closely with them. I get it now. And... It's a drug dealing thing. No. Is so any drugs? Is, is, it, is this the next is morning and we have to relearn our spells? Yeah. 
extortion okay. and prostitution mainly. Um, also, one last thing. House Minthor has indicated through back channels that it um, would be willing to uh, to meet with you in the council chambers, of course. It is bearing this information, Carodius, that uh, you return to the villa. This time you do spot Tebow. He's on the far side of the garden, um, sitting beneath a fruit tree, and he's kind of squatting on the ground and is picking up fruit that has fallen, putting it into a basket, head bowed. You can hear the fluting notes of a halfling song coming from between his lips. His back's to you. He hasn't seen you. She pulls her face away from that to what must have her attention at the moment. So how do we and proceed? You head indoors. Yeah. They want to extort power from you. Oh no! Oh no! What what does it generally mean if they want to meet in the council chambers? Is that does that have a, a symbolic meaning? It's like They're a neutral, neutral, neutral territory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't want to get murdered by a bunch of ninth level characters, I think would be pretty high on their list. Well, that's another thing. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the reality is, if you wanted to, you could march over to, to the Minther estate right now and just level the place. This is what I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, it, it, it does have repercussions for the city of Tyr. Um, Herodias would actually want to see if there's a way to exact punishments that actually they pay for all the damages done and are humiliated. Uh, and maybe then finally settle a, 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 an account that she's been wanting to settle for quite a while. And that is a, a relief that idiot son of his uh, uh, from his uh, head, you know, his head goes off. And then uh, we have finally have payback for Nissa something that she's actually still quite upset about. Oh, nice bits. Thank you, Mama. Nice. Me, me, me. Pick me. Is it? We got it. Yes. Thank you so much, Mama. Zupa. It is now. So I was just saying, thank you very much, Mama. The DM won your D6 inspiration. Thank you very much. As it sh as it should be. She said awesome, if that helps anybody. <laughs> so that helps um, me. something that she uh, would have liked to have uh, looked into is also um, the routines of uh, Mintor's son. Whether they're still the, the slumming same as it was before. Whether he has changed yeah, his habits. Yeah, pretty much. No, pretty much the same. Yeah. Has he still got the same uh, useless bunch of bodyguards? Uh, he has the same useless bunch of bodyguards. Uh, his drinks of the Kalax demise. Um, sometimes goes to the Red Kank on Shadow Square, um, and appears to be banging some floozy in the uh, in the, the caravan quarter. Uh, you think one of the daughters of House Vorden? Okay, she was... shouldn't call her a floozy. That's a bit rude. I apologize. Yeah, but uh, that that floozy, um, she will have made sure that she knows who that is. Oh, well, she knows who it is. Absolutely, yeah, sure. Okay, good. It's pretty good. So, what's it to be? Hey okay, guys, decision time. Shall we have that uh, talk with them in the in the council chambers and see what they have to say for themselves? Or do you want to already go for action straight forward? The thing is, they're extremely weak right now. Why have they made this move? Is it the Alarm again playing games? 
no, I think we should need to find out why they made the move in the first place, or maybe they were forced to make the move, or maybe their the head of their house has been uh, taken over by the Elan, and they're actually trying to implode the structure of Tyr. Um, this is all possible. I, I don't know. But I think uh, finding out whether they're Elan or not might be a good way to do that uh, in, uh, in the council chamber where everybody's present. Sure. And we can make the accu accusation that we... Uh, uh, their request for a meeting is that they meet with you in the council chambers, not that, the, not that it's during the sitting of a council, but uh, it's a private meeting in somewhere where it's... Uh, well, they, 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 they can ask for that in the council chamber, but what they don't know is that at the same time, we've arranged for a council meeting to take place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's do so, that. Okay. So we can accuse them in public that we have actually found that they've done this, and they ask them, we can ask them to explain themselves, and they can do that in front of the council. Yes. And then we'll see what comes from that. And then, you know, they'll probably deny it or whatever, but let's play it from there, right? But we also then accuse them probably for them being part of the whole oh, so Elan Cortex, invasion. We've got some uh, prisoners left, I'm assuming. Maybe we should turn up. Cortex not there. Cortex not here. Oh, I, yeah, they don't. So they're not appearing at the same time as Corodius. We can yeah. ask Portek. You never, never see them together. To bring his prisoners. <laughs> I like, to imagine they, Wait, what, what, I like what? to imagine Kyrodius leaves the room and then like a few seconds and then he just <laughs> changes clothes, comes back, and then one second leaves, changes clothes, comes back. Like. He didn't take off all his makeup, actually. his eye makeup, so we know. So um, He grows two feet. I suggest we bring... Uh, we bring... Um, both uh, the prisoners and some of the corpses to that meeting. Yes, good idea. So we can ask the, the prisoners to tell them what they, they told us, and then we can ask the corpses to confirm what they said so that we show that they're telling us without a doubt. And then we let the house minter try and burn them out of uh, that accusation. We'll see how that goes. That's a good idea. Yes, we do that. Okay. Before um, we enter, so, I cast a tet lie. Most uh, members of the council are not willing to uh, take a time out of um, arena day to come and uh, uh, adjudicate your disagreements with uh, the Minthers. As I mentioned before, there is a big match on today. Gladiators, by the way, you're welcome to take part in it if you want. Um, the oh, uh, it's coinciding with it's the same. That's the same. same yes, it's the same day. This is uh, oh. this is one of the non-lethal matches, right? Yes, the, exactly. Uh, Rikus yes. and I've set up. Yes. Exactly. Okay. What's Rikus doing? Is he officially? You're only allowed to use slappy hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> slappy hands. Why? Well, eh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Rikus will be the um, uh, the championship match. Him and Neva are going up against. Uh, apparently, they managed to capture a Braxat. Ooh, and they're going, to, they're going to fight a Braxat. Um, although you do recall having heard that there is a, uh, a chariot, uh, a pair of charioteers who've come in from Balik, and uh, Rikas has been wondering if you and Ra would like to take them on. Ra? Yeah. Hell hey, yeah, the it. Death Dealers ride again. Mark, did any of the gladiators um, look into tin for a healing option? Uh, yes, and we can uh, we can add that to your uh, to your pocket. Um, oh, well, 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 hold on a second. Freebies for us, dude. What the hell? Is this about your drug situation? No, no, this is not the drug situation. This is legitimate healing of gladiators. But if you want some drugs, no, I know a guy. No, I've been meaning to say this. I, I haven't talk found to him the right, right time to do it. But do not sell fucking steroids to my gladiators. Don't do it. That's off limits. No, I don't. I sell them to good, hardworking people off that want drugs. Off limits. You hear me? All I right. mean, they want drugs. Um, and, he doesn't this sell is, them to athletes. He sells this is them how the, to the addicts. The opioid epidemic <laughs> starts. I, I, I basically, here. I'm helping the situation by selling them to people who will kill themselves with them anyway, thus helping the economy by removing the potential problems um, in a very lucrative way. Okay. That are you, checks sure, are out. you sure you're not a Templar? <laughs> I, I, I I know one. <laughs> Does that count? Like, is it like association? 
Um, so anyway, if you want to have your meeting with Verassi, uh, you can absolutely have it one on one or one on six in the morning. Um, and you might well be able to get a couple of the other senators to attend. Um, but most people are interested in going to the uh, in, in going to the well, going drinking and then going to the arena. Well, the thing is that we are also interested in going to the arena because but, uh, I don't know whether Kirodias knows this because that, of course, was a discussion that was uh, when Portek was present. But you want to uh, capture the Amina, don't you? Which is going to be at that that same game, guys. Yes. So then maybe what we should do is renegotiate with uh, Verassi a different time to meet. I mean, we, we don't necessarily need to meet him now. I might, or do we, uh, huh? I might just go and kill him. And he's do you, do you tell everyone that you're going to do this? The entire <laughs> stadium's food is poisoned. Uh, <laughs> Prize, guys. And, and there might also be... Uh, um, do you actually tell uh, Kirodius about this whole thing with uh, the Amine or not? I would, I would, uh, I thought I would, yes. Okay. Okay. So then there might be actually a link between the two and that they're trying to get us away from the, the, <clears throat> the actual games so that we can't interfere with their extraction of the information with uh, the Amina. Maybe this is an Ilan ploy, the whole thing. Mm. That's something Everything. that she would come up with. Yeah. It's the Elan. <laughs> Everything. Mm -hmm. Sausages everything mm -hmm. yummy so why don't we go to uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, at the moment, sausages. I, I'm I'm in the role of an intermediary <laughs> here at the moment so I can go to them and say look uh, the meeting can take place but it will take place after the games why don't we just l let him turn up while we turn up to the arena so we oh. we just don't show we just no show and did oh that's actually a good plan then I, I, I'll be there and I say I'm sorry but um uh, that you have not you have not been able to be able to 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 make it. I'll be there. I'll I'll represent you and say, look, he has not been able to make it. Um, he would like to kindly like to reschedule. And I'm not there, and I'm there, but that's fine. How about that's, that? That's good. You guys do whatever you need to do at the arena, and then we actually keep him away if he's involved. And that's only uh, good, right? And I will, uh, I will broker a new, uh, a new uh, time to actually meet up. All right. So the rest of you, everyone, bar Chirodius, is going to go to the arena. Uh, uh, do I understand whether the gladiators are participating uh, or not? Oh yeah, we participate in some. Okay, we don't nice. kill them, <laughs> but <Yeah>. not kill them. <laughs> You know what I mean? Non We're going to murder them him. really badly, but in a really nice way. Not We're going to murder because... them to death. <laughs> but in a non-lethal manner. Yeah. Yeah. But in a non-lethal way, yeah. yeah. That is completely fine. Okay. Um, we will get to the, uh, to the arena issue uh, in just a second. You prepare yourselves. The two gladiators head off to the lower levels of the arena. To uh, to meet up with um, with Rikus and uh, the other three of you, that would be Macfari, Matthias, and Constantine, file in with the crowds, while Corodius, you make your way into the council chambers to a meeting room on the upper floor, just within the gates of the Golden City. A pair of Verassi's guards are stationed outside. I'm concealing my thoughts, by the way. Yes, gotcha. Um, where is his smackable face? Uh, there it is. His guards are outside. And Verassi is uh, within, already at the uh, in the council uh, meeting room. Legs up on the table, showing a very expensive pair of Drick Hyde boots, and um, he, sipping on a, a watered down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the graffiti going to start? Fine. <laughs> oh my goodness! On a watered down scopanong. 
He really is a potato, isn't he? Hello. Oh. I understood that you had been requesting a meeting with me for you and your associates. Uh, you've come alone. Um, Lord Minthor, yes. Um, I've been asked to uh, uh, ask you to make arrangements for uh, a different meeting at a later time. <sighs> really? You couldn't have sent a messenger? You had to drag me all the way here? It was a, um, a last moment consideration from uh, the other party. The other party? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you mind sharing something of what you wish to discuss? As if I couldn't guess? Um... I suppose that's not really up to me, is it? I am not here the wrong party. Look, we both know what it's about. Totally, but uh, I do not speak for them, do I? What, what are you doing here then? I'm procuring the, the... Just a messenger, yes. The, yeah, just the, a, the peaceful just, just a, a, a flunky. Peaceful resolution between two uh, important players in the city of Tyr. Peaceful resolution? What what manner of peaceful resolution do you think there's going to be? <laughs> They're just going to have to like it. There's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> really? You do know who my father is, don't you? <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Peaceful resolution. How frightfully naive. You really are quite delightful, aren't you? All those years counting beans and shuffling tax reports. And nothing to show for it. Does your dad actually know that you're here? What does it matter if he knows where I am? He's but off in he, the in the in the stadium does he warming know? his bones. Ah. Does he know about this meeting? Well, I didn't tell him, did you? that you would actually bring bring this kind of message to him as he is the, the leader of your house or did you just orchestrate this thing with the farms of them on your own does he not know that you did this why does he need to know he doesn't know that you did this why does he need to i'm a perfectly capable of acting of my own accord you know so why did you do it anyway well what do you think well your friends have made quite the name for themselves. Hmm? It was all very well and good when they were doing what they were told. Hmm? Getting rid of that frayed lav nuisance. But this heroes of Tyr malarkey and, and then getting themselves some, some farms and, and nipping away at the heels of their betters, it simply won't do. No. There's not enough room in Tier for more people like me, and certainly not enough room for people like them. I see. So your father doesn't know about this. You seem awfully hung up on this. It's kind and of it, important. This... Why? Because I'm not sure he sees things the same way as you do. Who cares? Ah, he does. You know my father that well, do you? I think I do. Do you think he would not perhaps have reined me in a little bit before now? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll oh, see. Dear, we'll, dear. We'll, 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 we'll see about that. Uh, I foremost want to see peace in this city. And this is why I'm here. This is the brokering role that I'm fulfilling. Um, They've sent you to me to ask for peace, have they? They have to send me, <laughs> me to you to broker a meeting. And why? what they want out of this meeting is to figure out why you did this. Well, I, I, I tell you, I did it because I can. Okay. Because I wanted to, yes. and no one can stop me. I'm afraid that you'll be sadly mistaken there, but that's just my, my 
personal observation. I will convey mm -hmm. your message. Uh, would you uh, mind uh, rescheduling the meeting that we... Uh... I, I think you're going to have to get your little friends to convince me that there's some reason to this meeting, because all I've heard right now is an awful lot of flim flam. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes. A lot of empty chatter and 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 the let's, usual let's temple, ask, templar let... templar puffery. Yes. And uh, oh yeah, why, why don't you insult me along the way as well? Why don't you? That's very clever of you. Hey, what would you like out of this situation to happen? I've already got what I like out of this you already situation got that. to happen. There's nothing that you would like, uh, and, and there's nothing that they can offer to uh, make this uh, uh, situation, this foot of war, go away, is there? They're ruined. Their farms are ruined. There's yeah. no way they can continue to support their little endeavors now. They won't be able to pay their troops. They won't be able to feed their laborers. <laughs> it's done, Corodius. It's just simply done. And so easily as well. Yes. Okay. I will. I will convey your uh, your uh, message here to them, yes. and then I will get back to you if they wish to uh, broker uh, or wish to convince you of a, <laughs> an, an, an ulterior meeting. Okay. Yes, you do that. Run along now. There you go. I will make sure I will. She smiles and turns around and serenely walks out of the room. <laughs> oh my god, such a dick! <laughs> <laughs> Let me squish he, him. He Let me is, do it. He the is thing I love so is... going to fucking die. Yes. Oh yes, my he's... god! <laughs> I I love I love that he's like, haha! I burned the fields of people who have killed I'm, sorcerer I'm going, kings I'm, and all Herodes these other people, going... but I'm okay. He <laughs> like. Herodias no. is going to make his dad kill him. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she's convinced now. This is what's going to happen. Because she's going to go to his dad, and I have a feeling that he will realize the situation more as it is. I mean, yes, these people here might be destroyed, but they are very capable of destroying that whole house Mintor to the ground. After Hopefully this and, happens and, during and, Bengal and, his, and Ra's and his match. And father, his father will know that and he will realize what his son has been doing. I have a feeling that this is actually what's going on here. Well, well let's get to it then. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to see more <laughs> of this story. <laughs> I want to see this. You guys have, you guys have another story in the, in the arena, guys. Good luck. Yeah, what's wrong with so, the Death Dealers? <laughs> I really want the moment that, like, Chirodius to the dad is like, they're powerful people. It just cuts to like Ra and Bengal, like decap. Well, no, they can't. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it just cuts Pretending. them to like miming the really shit out of harshly people. using harsh language, <laughs> yeah. miming the shit out of people. Yeah. <laughs> she will be going uh, towards the arena where the rest is, uh, if there's still time. Okay, excellent. So the arena is as full as it was on the day of Kalak's assassination. A tumult of voices, the upper stands filled with the freemen and lower classes, the lower stands as before, shaded from the sun, brimming with tears, nobility, its temperate, its merchants, and those who are wealthy enough to command a seat in the shade. In the cool areas beneath the arena, Ra, Bengal, Bengal. It's like you've never been away. There is not, you realize after a while, the stink of blood from the upper levels, dripping through the sands, running its way through the masonry, pattering down into the shadowed areas below. But the smell of sweat and oiled leather, the sounds of gladiators going through their paces, warming up and preparing for the bouts, is just as it always was. And you yourselves are greeted with waves and cheers and nods. Rikus is like, uh, so is it today? Min Max or Death Dealers? Why have you come up with another name? Oh, well, I guess we can't deal death anymore if it's not lethal. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, Forget I said it. The uh, min max pair, then I suppose. I mean, headache dealers. The the pain dealers. There you go. We saved it again. <laughs> pain dealers. Really? No, no, it's a work in progress. Anyway. Just go min max. Min max. Min max. Min max. Thank you so much. God, I feel so bad for all the people in the crowd wearing Death Dealers merch right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's your concern? Yeah. <laughs> the world is burning! I gar- those Bengal- guys, they're wearing the wrong t-shirt! Bengal was the one selling and making them, is why. <laughs> yeah. About that. Name will never change! The name will never change! <laughs> the name will never change again, guys. It's always going to be Death Dealers for... Uh, I'm sorry, Min Max. <laughs> Oops. The name will in never the change. Crowd is, let me say the wrong name. <laughs> in the crowd itself, uh, Portek, we can assume that you've joined your friends for uh, an afternoon in the uh, in the sun. Uh, Macfari, Matthias, Constantin, you have made your way up to the uh, upper levels or the lower levels, if you wish, if you want to wish to be shaded, whatever you desire. And have been kind I'm of healing. Scanning. Where am I? So you're going to be down below with the gladiators. I'm. Uh, I brought my musical instrument along, and I'm going to be playing okay. to entertain the crowd. All right, cool. Um, give me a perform check. Uh, excuse me, you hugging my stage man? <laughs> this is That's only going to affect a little radius of people around me, not not the entire stadium. That's what you're doing. Well, Dur- you Durassi's are also going to miss out screen, on it. Shall we? Uh, Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was going to say I sit near you, but I can't I sort of like move away slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Philistines, they've got no appreciation for taste. Either that or you're not able to properly hear your notes given the shouting of the crowd. Um, it's not your best performance. And we're, we're going to... Uh, we're gonna we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> 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 I stop after a few notes. Oh, never mind. Oh, dear. Oh, well, no. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to a gladiator. It's a noisy bloody lizard. <laughs> by, by the way, um, Portek is actually entering uh, the uh, arena invisibly. Invisibly. Okay, yeah. good job. This uh, um, so, is the third level version of the spell. Nice. So you're scanning the crowds, um, but yeah, there's you know, 15, 20,000 people here. Locating Diamina is going to be tricky. How exactly do you intend to go about it? Um, with my eyes. With your eyes, okay. Wow. Just observation checks, eh? Nope. Yes, please. All right. I'll do one as well, Okay. seeing as I'm all not right, playing so music me, after all. <laughs> let me have observation checks, please, at minus 10 to spot her. God. So just roll it. Surely you need to look at. Surely you don't need me to look in the like higher up areas oh, than just the street people. So that's completely no, Matthias. That's no good. Okay. Hey! Oh! oh hey! Look at that! She's, She's over there. there. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is he doesn't know what she looks like. You've Hoor. given a. You're like, is that her? I'm like, yes. <laughs> are, are, are you are you looking for the lady with the with the hair? Because there's one right there. <sighs> We're sitting right next to her. Yes. I'm standing up like this, looking far. <laughs> she's she's like three three people down. She's behind me. <clears throat> Okay, so it doesn't take you long to uh, to spot the familiar features of uh, the lady Diamina. Um, Macfari, you have been given a fairly solid description of, uh, of what she looks like. Her very particular features, golden colored eyes, her hair, uh, and you meander up and down the, uh, the terraces playing your Lokora, and quite possibly this is um, this is why you're doing such a bad job, because you're not actually uh, I'm not paying, paying attention, attention to your playing, but <laughs> you are attempting to locate uh, attempting to locate Diamina. There was once a Braxat called Bob. He died 
because he was a massive slob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that it? That's, uh, that's the song I'm singing. It's terrible. Cool. That's why it's uh, such a bad roll. Yeah. Okay. Um, and those people just for, for refreshed memory, that's Dimina. Oh, you finally I spot her what she looked like. on the. He's, she's on the same side as you, uh, mm -hmm. but down on the uh, on the lower level, mm -hmm. shaded. And uh, it's kind of sitting, minding her own business. And you get the impression that nobody directly around her uh, is talking to her, interacting with her. It's as if those close to her can't see her at all. Interesting. So she's got some kind of thing going. Does it look like she's affecting that? Or is that... You can't see what's causing it. But okay. it is almost as if, and it's only with you... Being a few uh, a few dozen yards back, seeing the flow of the crowd, it's the, it, it parts around her like silt around a stone in an estuary. Mm. I I wave over uh, Matthias and mm. Portek. He said Portek is here. I yeah, haven't seen Portek, him. but he's invisible, so you don't know where he is. Okay, well then I wave over Ma uh, Matthias. I'll head over, and I, I kind of. Subtly point. I don't know. <laughs> Is that her? I look and I'm like, well spotted, McFarry. Portex's voice comes out of bloody nowhere. Is he in the walls again? <laughs> His face appears in the stone under our feet. <laughs> We've got an Actually, infestation. <laughs> Actually, Mark, I would be healing um, Ra and Bengal to get my kind of my rep up for healing. Okay, good. Because nobody would trust there him are, until then. I'm the arrow guy. You know? No, uh, and they're currently getting ready, limbering up. Uh, and you can see on the opposite side, uh, dragging a couple of uh, Crodlu chariots out. Um, uh, things have got enormous spiked wheels. They're being pulled by war Crodlu. Uh, it's just a bloody death machine in each with a single rider on the back. Uh, how this is going to be done non-lethally uh, remains to be seen. With the use of a safe word. The blades because are actually walks over. made of rubber. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, slap you. He starts. He starts tying I got ribbons. You. To... No, you didn't. No, I did. Just roll dice. He ties. <laughs> starts tying ri ri ribbons to your armor. You ribbons. You've got three of these. Yeah, you've got three of these. They've got to take all three off you. Your arm's got three as well. Similarly, them. Each charioteer has got three blue ribbons. Take all three and they're off the field of battle. Uh, where are they on the people so that Ra knows where to aim? They're on their backs. One on each shoulder and one in the middle of the back. Okay. Back, back of the neck. Okay. Ra's just like, this seems unfair. And just so I'm clear, <laughs> no dismemberment, right? Completely non-lethal. You're not supposed to kill anyone. Yes, I, I, I'm aware of that. I'm just asking. It's good to be clear on these rules. I suppose, technically speaking, you could dismember somebody without killing them. I mean, yes, technically, but... I should ask Mr. Panther for clarification on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with no, let's go with no for now. Okay. Until we have a... <laughs> Understood. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Copy. All right. You're about up. You ready? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you ready for this, bro? Well, I don't actually know, to be honest. We're going to be chasing we're gonna be chasing people on chariots. Yeah. We're much faster than we are. Okay, first plan then. Um, plan number one, take out the chariots, right? We'll disable them. Okay. And then we'll get them geezers. What do you say? Lucas right. is already striding out under the sands. Yeah. Ron looks very nervous. My but... ladies and gentlemen, you have known them as death dealers. But before that, they were men max. And all of you, the growl that goes up from the crowd is just deafening. All conversation is completely eclipsed. You can almost feel the stone juddering under, uh, under your feet as Tears' home crowd 
gives its adulation to the half giant and the halfling as they trot out onto the field. Straight away, the chariots are whipped into speed and begin circling in opposite directions around the outside of the arena, just as you two reach the middle. And then peeling off from their orbits, they turn, cross paths, and come racing in for a uh, for a flyby attack. Meanwhile, up on the stands, the three of you have located Diamina. What are you doing about this? What are we doing about this? Gentlemen, what are we doing about this? <laughs> um... Shall we go down there? Perhaps if we get too close, that whatever what's, that. What's going doing on that, around her? I believe there's some kind of no sorcery or psionic effect that is making making everybody want to ignore her. Portek, where are you? Is this true? Um, I have a, I have a proper look at it. Do, so. do you have Psycraft? Uh, do I? Good question. Let me check. Oh, uh, thank you, Osiris. That's very kind of you. I was, I was gonna wait. Uh, thank you very much, Osiris. Five K for five hundred bits. That's a D twenty inspiration. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Do it, do it. Because much appreciated. Might need it in a minute. No, Mark. I have oh, big gal comes in with okay. a nineteen. Fuck yeah! All thank right. you. Bingo, thank you. Bangle. Hell yeah! Thanks. Okay. Um, so, what are you guys doing up there? So, um, um, observation won't get uh, cut it. I can't. No, no, no. That. You need Psycraft. So, I don't know. My answer is uh, to uh, Matthias. I have no idea. I, I'm not well versed in uh, in, in Silex in that uh, regard. No, neither am I. I. I don't know what is oh, causing that. She's just sitting there. Who she get? <sighs> she's waiting for something. So, why don't we just sit and watch? Get closer. How far away watch. are we from her? Exactly. You're about two. You're about a hundred yards away. Let's get closer. So, and watch. yeah, let's 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 get closer. But okay. stay away from that effect. Yeah, we do that. I blend in with. All oh, right, um, uh, Porta, you're invisible. Uh, MacFarry, you. I am going to use my hiding in shadows and yes. uh, stealth abilities. Let me get just... rolls from both of you for that, please. 89. Uh, oh. Nice. Wait, I need to do the thing. Yep. You need to do the thing. Is this, this thing. accurate? I don't know if this is accurate, but... Click on if you're wearing armor or not. If you've put everything in, it's accurate. 90, that is... Uh, oh, okay. No, that's not I accurate. You... Mine, mine should be at 90. Yeah, I've got it uh -huh. right here. I've got it right now. So that's passes from both of you. Okay. Um, you're using your chameleon ability and natural uh, skills at hiding in shadows. And uh, Matthias, likewise, you slip between the crowds, weaving your way closer and closer and closer until you're a few terraces behind where Diamina is sitting. She says, shows no signs of uh, having seen you. Meanwhile, down below on the uh, arena floor, the uh, gladiators in the chariots have swung by uh, both Ra and Bagal Bagal, and there's a <gasps> from the crowd, and as they ride away, you can see each is holding a red ribbon in their hands. What? That's bullshit. Uh, Mark, just quickly, I'm immune to illusions or phantasms and stuff like that. First level. Gotcha. Okay, um, are you doing anything as they hurtle past you? Uh, yeah. Trying to jam my weapon into the chariot wheel. I'm also... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay. going... Uh, Sorry. Uh, yes, uh, Ra, let's, let's do that for us, because that's, that should be hilarious if it happens. It would be. Are there two chariots? Yes, there or are. Just one? Okay. I roll to hit, correct? Uh, yeah, roll me to hit with that, please. All right. Uh, boom. 
31. Oh my God, it's 31. <laughs> okay. You slam Heartbreaker right in between the wheels of the chariot as it as it uh, skids away from you. And the uh, the charioteer holding the red cloth that you just snatched off your right shoulder, there's a moment of... <laughs> as he uh, goes, yes, flying out of the front of the chariot and in a wonderful display of non-lethal gladiating, uh, slams into the ground very hard and takes nine points of damage. Uh, rolls to his feet, uh, spins around to face you, and Ra, you don't see this bingle bangle. Just, just check what you're doing first, actually. What are you doing? Um, so I was uh, either with a weapon, but I don't really have a weapon for it. I was actually going to uh, sort of vault over the top of the chariot as it's coming my way and stand in it. Yeah, give me an acrobatics roll, please. And push the guy out. Well, if I'm allowed to. Bite his ankles. Yeah. Uh, where is that? Is Acrobatics is on your proficiencies. Yeah. yeah. Is it supposed to be Excellent. Minus? Yep, you somersault over the okay. charging Crondlu, land right in the uh, in the back of the chariot behind him. And if you want to make an attack roll, uh, a CMB roll, go ahead. Yeah. Um, You'll see under your wanna... weapons. Mm -hmm. See it probably CMB unarmed is best for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna push him. The suspense. She's frozen. No, no. Hello. Yeah, go. Pushing really. Uh, is it going? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. I'll take the first one. I'll take the first <laughs> okay. one. Thank you. Twenty. Uh, okay, that is just enough to dislodge him. Um, he goes skidding sideways and uh, comes off the chariot. Uh, yet. Uh, yes, at the last moment, manages to grab onto the end. He's hanging on the outside. You're standing inside. The chariot is now completely un uncontrolled and just goes veering off across the, the arena floor. There's a wild cheer of excitement as this happens. This is just people think this is just great. And as, it, as you go hurtling <laughs> okay. by, um, you can see uh, the uh, gladiator whom Ra has um, unhorsed, uncharioted, has pulled himself to his feet, injured. And as he stands, wipes his... Uh, hand across his nose and you can see there is a smear of white across his hands oh, and fuck. Ra doesn't see it of course and from underneath his tunic he pulls a long blade and you just catch the glint of moisture something pale and green along the blade as you go hurtling past on the out of control chariot up on the stands you are now as I said a few terraces behind Diamina and you can spot a figure sidling his way through the uh through the crowd to water and comes and sits and she just shunts over as the figure sits down next to her a uh, well-dressed man in a fine traveling tunic blonde hair tied back in a little row of braids behind his neck sort of babylonian style does portak recognize him since he's been working for the lubar family uh, Portek, yes. This is Caxitus Lubar. He is the youngest son of Maitan Lubar. And in fact, um, uh, Maitan's only surviving son, actually, seeing as you've killed Salabar and killed Molestic. Oh. What do you guys do? Little pity violence here playing. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sneak up to try and hear what they're saying. Um, All right, Macfarry. Any illusions present? I detect illusion, and also I'm immune to first and second level illusions and phantasms as well. Yes, so. yes, I know. Portek has that similar. Uh... Yes, make me a detect illusion uh, ability, please. Uh, yeah, Do it. Uh, oh, there. Okay, that's okay. that's a fail. That's a fail, yes. Good number. Fail. You can't tell. Um, her psionic abilities may be illusory. You're not sure. Uh, it's certainly throwing you off. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hold you, my you, action, I guess. Okay. And you just spot Matthias slide through the crowd. And you just kind of insinuate yourself right in behind them. Uh, anything from you, Portak, while he's doing that? 
Um, yeah, I'm getting closer by to be within striking range with my spear. And <laughs> I'm just going to start stabbing. Okay, fine. <laughs> Matthias, uh, the conversation is, uh, is, is muted. Uh, so I'm going to need a detect noise roll from you. Just Not to make sure yeah. you can pick it up under the under the moment where people are shouting, Mid, Max, Mid, Max, drop his head off! Nah. And, and such like. Uh, well, that's terrible. Yeah. Did you all hear noise really that bad? Yeah. Some wow, reason. okay, so no. You don't hear shit. You hear lots of people shouting how much they want to see Bungal Bungal stick his singing sticks up the, uh, the charioteer's backside. And another one is screaming about, yeah, Ra needs to just cut the guy to the left. No, the other left. Your left. <laughs> and, uh, um, down on the arena floor. Yep. Uh, yes, go ahead, please. I was going to say, I, I can't hear anything, but I just watch them and I I look at their lips because I can read lips. Do you have do you have lip, re lip reading? I do, yes. As a thing, I think. Excellent. Yes, yes. I believe. I just want to double check because obviously that comes from my other thing. So... Fast talk in. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm getting so excited about this. Da, da, da. I do not see it on your on your current list. I thought no. it came with the uh, thing. Oh, it's a normal weapon proficiency. It's not. It's an, yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. No, then sorry. <coughs> okay, so no, you do not read their lips. Uh, on the arena floor, Ra, you can hear and feel the sound of what must be the charioteer currently dismounted running toward you. I want to hit him with heart. Okay, you will get your you will get to attack first because your weapon is longer. Um uh, and would I get my three hits first because I technically have already done that attack on the cart. That's pushing it. But okay. Thank you. <laughs> um <laughs> do do uh Oh, 20, the second one's a miss. 27, that's, 21. That's one. Yeah, okay, so the first one is actually a hit. Uh, the second one, he, because you've hit him, drops to his knees, and the, the third one whistles right over his head. All right. Uh, what size is he? Small, medium? Uh, he's medium. Yep. That is 22 damage. <laughs> Non-lethally, of course. Non, non lethal damage. Okay. Um, so some of that is real, uh, but most of it is a uh, 22 there. Okay. Um, yeah, the Lotula swings around. You catch him mostly with the side of the blade. Bong, slams with the side of his head. He grunts, snarls, uh, and then is under your guard and stabbing at you uh, with his own blade. And your armor class is pretty good, but the blade skitters off the outside of the Braxat armor and fails to penetrate. And then on, on the second strike, you can just feel it score up the side of your exposed abs. There is a horrendous sting in the wound. Say that against poison, please. Oh, no. Is this cheating? Like, just as a, out of curiosity. Yes. Oh, yes. Very yeah, much. okay. All right. He's been a naughty boy. Oh shit. Spot on. Just. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you only take 20 points of damage. I, at this feeling... You feel the, you feel the burn of poison. And as he sk spits around you, you can actually hear him hiss. This is for what you've cost us. You've cost us everything. Upon hearing that, uh, Ra will yell out... Um, as loud as she can in her like performer voice um like uh cheat he's using poison all right if it were only for the not for the fact that there are 20,000 other people all yelling at the tops of their voices yeah. your voice would ring out like a clarion call yeah. as it as, as it is only bengal bengal hears you bengal bengal in the out of control chariot with the other charioteer hanging on the outside and you on the inside. What do you do? Okay. First of all, I <laughs> take one of the ribbons from his back. I just, you know, lean over and pluck it off. Actually, yeah. <laughs> okay, I take all three of them, whatever. Just all three. Okay. Take all three will require an attack roll. That'll what, be your action what? for the round. 
No, no, okay. No, no, just one then. Because the ca- yeah. the chariot is bouncing along like crazy. One you could easily snatch. Okay. Get- getting all three require will require you to lean out. You only have okay. small arms. It's not an excuse, right? So I snatch on and then I want to hop over the side of the chariot, perform a safety roll, and then run or not run, shoot with my crossbow at the attacking Elan. Oh, the one who's attacking Ra. Yes. All right. Okay. So an Lethal airborne damage. leap. Give me a give me an acrobatics roll, please, for the uh, for the leap. Beautiful. And then in midair, boom, you shoot yeah, the crossbow. Like in Legends right, give of me a, give me, the Wild. Be yeah, exactly awesome. like that. Yeah. Give me a roll. <laughs> No, wait. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my D20 inspiration. Yeah, use it. Given use it. To use it. Be my Osiris. Thank you. I'm gonna do it. Come on. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh. Damn you, Osiris. I hope you're happy. This sucks. Um, a bit. The cross. <laughs> the crossbow bolt whizzes just past the attacking Elan and buries itself in the sand on the other side. Constantine. In the uh, chambers just below the arena, you are close enough to hear Ra shouting, Cheat! He's using poison! And you can see her stagger to one side, clutching her hand to a wound on her midriff. Oh, it's, it's yeah, against do. the rules. Yeah. Uh, it's against the rules for me to go out there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it would be such a shame if somebody broke some of the rules. <laughs> um, friend's dying, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just you're, like you're stands you're... there twiddling thumbs like, ooh, but I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. It was all right breaking the rules and then potentially putting us at war with 500 elves. Listen, that's okay. Um, yeah, at the uh, the poison, do I see the, uh, the blade in hand? Yes, you do. Uh, how far would that be from me? Uh, he's about 80 feet away from you on the arena floor. Okay, what uh, distance is that? Probably close then. Also, just a quick question for the DM. Are that's, there that's people... uh, range eight. Are there people on the lower levels that like help, like for instance, dragging bodies out and stuff? Like, would any of them yes. have heard was per chance? They might have, yes. Okay. Um, you said Rikus was. Is Rikus nearby? Uh, Rikus is currently. You can see he's he's deeper in. He's in conversation with Neva. But um, he's close then... by. <clears throat> so I will uh, yell back to Rikus as loud as I can. Um, just say Alan using poison in the ring, and I'm gonna. You said it's a short range for me, probably. Um, yep. Rikus so, shouts, "Get out there and kill him!" So I'm just gonna. Um, yeah, I can easily get within short range. So I'm gonna get within go. I'm gonna rush out. Um, arrows okay. already uh, at the go, and I'm just gonna unleash uh, a bunch of arrows directly into him. <laughs> okay. From inside, you can hear Rikus shouting, "Seal the exits!" Point blank, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, around uh, the 32, a 32 and a 27. As uh, Constantine rushes out and just whop, 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 drops three arrows, all three hit. All right, good deal. Let me uh, just uh, do some damage on him. Ooh, oh, ow, ow. 26. Okay. 26 yeah. on top of the 22 he's already done um yeah he s- stumbles staggers and the third one takes him to the throat and he drops uh Ra, you hear the satisfying sound of a gurgling death throw near your feet back up on the stands there's uh you can see both diamina and uh and caxitus stop look down into the arena as uh, they realize something of what is happening down there and Caxitus almost immediately uh, you can see him reach into his tunic and stars. produces <laughs> <laughs> sudden dwarf attack <laughs> all right go for it Pro- produces a bag of popcorn <laughs> yeah yeah would you, <laughs> would you like some po- <laughs> produces a white flag of surrender My, my sheet uh, just died. Give me a second. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, uh, <laughs> Zack Snyder, slow motion moment as the uh, spear descends slowly toward Caxitus. And around uh, Portek, the invisibility just... Bleeds, bleeds off. Away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I can't do this all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we go. How about now? How about now? How about now? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I got another attack, right? No, you Is he surprised? Attack? Do you not get a bonus for coming out of invisibility? You get a uh, two point bonus for attacking from behind and another four points for attacking from invisible. That would make it armor class 17. That's not enough. So four and two. So um. By the, the way, my, uh, I was holding my action. The, hold on, hold oh, on, hold yeah. on. The, yeah. the, the spear slams against something underneath his cloak, and you suspect he's probably wearing some kind of chitinous breastplate under there. Uh, he spins around to face you. Portek, he says. Uh, Macfari. I'm going to hold to see what he was going to produce in case it's something that I think it is, and then, um, yeah, it's a, I have it's to a hold scroll, that. It's a scroll tube. He has it in his hand, a long bone scroll tube. Does it look like an arcane scroll tube? Uh, it looks like a bone scroll tube. Okay, I'm holding, if he casts, I'm holding in the in the event that he casts anything. Okay, he's not casting anything. Okay, he's just producing a scroll. Okay. Yes. Um, oh, goodness, hold for now. Okay, uh, anything from Matthias? Yeah, I'm going to whip that scroll tube out of his hand and into mine. <clears throat> Go for it. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Whip, whip, whip. Nay, nay. Don't say that. It wasn't meant to. 26. I just died as a person inside. <laughs> coming, from, <laughs> coming from behind and hidden, does that do anything? 26, yes, absolutely. Yeah, just... Whip. Uh, you snatch the scroll tube out of his hand and it flies across the intervening 20 odd feet to land smack neatly in your palm. And then I whip. What I want to do, can I do it now, please? I whip his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Go and then whip his legs. Uh, uh, just by one point, yes. You pull his legs out from underneath him and Caxitus Lubar drops to the ground, shouting and yelling. And then I whip uh, her Mufari. legs. Mufari, I'm going to cast Hold Person on both of them. Uh, can I whip her legs? Or at least I try to. Uh, you've got three attacks this round? Yes, yeah. so go ahead. Mike Farris starts casting. Uh, yes, Diamina hits the ground, shouting and yelling. Um, people around her suddenly seem surprised at her appearance, and you can see everyone backing away, and not just at the, uh, the, the multiple whip blows, but at the sudden appearance of an angry spear-wielding dwarf. Mike Farris. <laughs> uh, my spell? So I want... Uh, yes. I need to roll a d4 to see if uh, how many people get affected. Okay. Um, it's up to four people, so um, I guess. Are you I'll using spell concealment or not? Uh, I am, yes. Um, Roll me that, please. Yes, yes, I need to find that. Under proficiencies, spell concealment. Please be, please be successful. Please. Nice. Okay, you yes. successfully hide the fact that you draw life energy up through the arena into your hands, and then you can affect how many people? I can D4, so um, yes. I need to roll D4. Four. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Caxodus Lubar saving throw is a nine. That's a fail. A yeah, he, he is held. Diamina Lubar's saving throw is a 14. 14. That's a pass. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. Uh, and and that should. That lasts. Hold on. Hold person has a duration of two rounds per level, and I'm using heightened spell on it to make it last longer. By Good. one, so okay. it last um, twenty rounds. Excellent. On the ground, you can see a Diamina of Luba. She places her hands to her temples. But the chaos around her is far too much, and she fails her manifesto roll with a three uh, and stays exactly where she is. Back down on the arena floor, Ra and Bagal Bagal uh, has uh, Ra the 
Ilana in front of you has just been slain. Bagal, Bagal, you are now out of the chariot, um, have landed with your kind of crossbow. You can see the other charioteer is getting back into his chariot, um, having lost one of his ribbons, and is trying to control it. And you can notice that Tin has, in fact, run out onto the arena floor and uh, has been um, popping his arrows off. Am what I do you guys do down there? Am I aware of any, uh, I don't know if this is a thing, but like the gladiator symbols of like, you know, like things aren't okay or like, you know, like that kind of thing of, is there one to to show like there's foul play involved or something like yeah, that? Yeah, and we have to like cancel the match. Yeah, like is, yes. there, is there like, a, like uh, a signal that she can do? Yes, yes, and it should be happening right now, but for some reason it isn't. Okay, so can we do it then? Th- uh, it's um, it's flags that appear at the edge of the pitch. Once it's been reported to a referee, uh, some guys will appear at the edge of the pitch and ro- wave red flags around. About looking over, you can see them running around inside, getting the flags ready. Rikus has spent a round doing something else, possibly sealing off the arena before giving the order. Right. So they'll be um, out next round. You have one I, more round. Uh... How close am I to the other one, considering yeah, how you large stop, the... Listen, feel through your bare feet. Yes, you can... F- feel and hear the sound of the chariot racing across around now from your from your right to your left you can hear the thunder of the wheels the hammer of the crodlu's claws on the arena floor you can even hear the labored gasps of the charioteer's breath i will try and strike the chariot like i did the first time try and okay. stop the chariot you- Take half a dozen powerful strides in that direction, quirl your Lutulis, and ram it for the spokes of the chariot's wheels. Let me see it. Mm, 23-24. Okay, uh, I believe that was enough from last time. Uh, No, you did it with a 31 last time for the chariot, 23-24. The 23 is a miss, the 24 is actually a hit. Uh, and it's a, you slam the Lutulus right into the chariot wheels. The uh, charioteer uh, actually manages to hang on to the chariot, even as it skids sideways, slews, and goes careening across the ground. He's kind of curled up in a ball inside the bucket of the chariot, is, uh, chariot itself. Uh, the Kroglu goes over and over and over. You hear a horrendous squawking noise from the lizard, which then goes dead. Um, the rest of you can see that it's broken its neck in the crash. Uh, and the charioteer begins to pull himself out of the mangled wreckage of uh, the wooden splinters, which are all that remain of his chariot. Uh, Tin, Bengal, Bengal. Is he bleeding white? Yeah, that's, that's uh, my question is, is the uh, charioteer? Uh, from this distance, just give me an observation check to see if you can, if you can see, please. beautiful yes you can see a thin trickle of white coming from his nostril and he's pulled from what appears to be either a holster or compartment a hand crossbow an expensive piece of kit which even now he's aiming straight at you um what's his uh is he what's his race he's a human oh well in fact no he's an alarm so um well but he looks like he looks human Two hits. The 18 is a miss. Okay. Where is it? Oh, hello there. All right, 24. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, You see both arrows taken. Staggers once, staggers twice. White fluid spattering the ground. It's then that you look down and see the crossbow bolt sticking out of your midriff. Saving its poison, please. Wait, it's sticking. Okay, let me get it. Oh, shit, no! Constantine staggers sideways, drops to one knee, and then collapses on the arena floor. Bingle bangle. Um, okay. So Worst time for a natural one. Yeah, pretty really bad. <laughs> so, um, I, Bingal is going to once again take out his crossbow, um, and 
I guess while that guy is reloading, uh, take a shot at yep. him. Uh, you're obviously yep. aiming to kill. And I can only Go take one attack with this, right? Per round? Yes. It works. Oh, maximum oh. damage. Hell yeah. So what's okay. that? Okay. Uh, that's uh, seven points. Right. The uh, it's just a perfect snapshot as the uh, the light crossbow sends a bolt punching right into his midriff. Uh, he stumbles sideways, um, and you can see him just <coughs> having reloaded the hand crossbow, aiming it in your direction. Can I also um, do a, a acrobatics and armor optimization check? Uh, that has to happen at the beginning of the fight. Okay. So it would take you a round now to, uh, to do it during the fight. Um, well, armor I mean, optimization I... at least. Acrobatics, yes, make me roll for that. Okay. You get another shot? No, only one around. Oh, spot on. Okay, uh, you flip sideways and left and right, pirouette, uh, making it hard for him to uh, to draw a bead on you. Back up on the uh, arena terraces. Matthias, McFarry, Portek, what are you guys doing? Um, which order are we in? Whichever order you want. Okay, I'm going to cast Chaos on the Amina of Lubar. Okay, did she get a save against that? Um, question. <laughs> Uh, you have same to have throw this information ready. Yes, or yes, blow up yes, your yes. No, so she she gets a, it's a special saving throw. Um, well, I'm rolling her special saving throw now. Okay, hold on. Uh, creatures with intelligence of 21 or higher and or more no, hit dice than me. Um, that is her. She rolled a five, so that's probably a fail. Probably. Okay, so now yeah, you roll it. She's 16th level, so. Yeah, she, let's roll, give her a d10 roll. I'm also uh, I'm also yep. heightening the spell the spell on this one. Okay, three. Uh, it's a, uh, That means that she's going to stand confused for one round and roll again. And it's going to last uh, for one round per level, so it's 10 rounds. Beautiful, gonna roll, okay. Every so round we're going to roll. She just kind of sits there looking around in complete dazed confusion. Nice job. Uh, Matthias, Portek. Um, Portek starts to cast. We can see that okay. one's held like, in place, yeah? Yes, Caxodus is held. Um, I look around for any buckets. There are no metal no buckets, buckets lying around here. No. <laughs> um, um, well, she's still prone, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, the crowd is kind of spread out and you can sh people are shouting for guards and you actually hear one of them go, no, oh, no, it's bloody Portek, you're always doing this. And someone else is shouting for security. <laughs> someone else is yelling for help. Uh, the, 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 uh, the obvious deaths that are happening on the arena floor, there's screams and yells for the match to be held. And even as, uh, as you hear this, you can see um, what appear to be uh, uh, young boys and, uh, and girls running out onto the arena floor, waving red flags, calling the match. Um, obviously, with the confusion, I, can I see it down in there what's happening? Down in where? In the, in the arena. Yes. Um, you can't see that there are lands. It's too far away for you to notice that. But yeah. you can see that uh, um, Portek is uh, that uh, Constantine is down. Um, one of the other gladiators is down, uh, and Ra and Bengal Bengal are facing off against the last one. I, how far are they from me? Uh, they're like thirty feet down below the end. Thirty feet down, and about sixty or seventy feet uh, across the arena floor. Can I hit them? With what? With a blowgun. The gladiator? What's its range? I've got an extreme range now, so I've got one, two, three, and then I'm assuming four. So no. Okay. Wait, 40 yards, 120 feet. Actually, yes. Actually, yes, you could at extreme range, yeah. And you could that's also a minus, run, that's a run minus, a bit, can you? It's a minus 10 to hit, yeah. But go on then. I suppose I can run closer. If you can hit armor class 32, that's a hit. Go for it. Oh, whatever. We'll do it. Fingers crossed. Nope. Close. The darts fly around him, thudding into the sand. Fail to contact. Is that even one Portek, moving your spell closer, goes yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you see it? 
Your spell goes off, Vortex. In a low, um, kind of menacing voice, he uh, speaks the following words. So enchanted and charmed, may you feast deeply on misfortune's bitter ashes. <clears throat> and I cast a, a major medicine on her against enchantment charm spells. Oh, okay. Did she get a save? Uh, I think so, but let me check. No. No. no? no. Okay, nice. So this is a minus six against those spells now? Minus four. Minus four. Okay, good. All right, the Malison drops over her, and you can see her eyes roll back on her head as the malign cosmic energy swarms through her body. Arena floor. Constantine. As consciousness ebbs, you can feel the earth move below you. The churn of the elements, and beyond that, the greatest spirits of the cosmos. Do you have slow poison or neutralized poison? You're muted. You're muted. Still muted. Um, yeah, no, I actually, I still have, muted. um, I have, how am I still muted? You're a liar. I hear you. Um, <laughs> I have, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't have remove. Do um, you have you neutralize? Have no. No, I don't. No I have slow. Oh, you have slow? Okay. Let me see. I'm looking. Yeah, I have slow poison. Do you want to cast it? Yeah, damn right I want to cast it. Nah. <laughs> casting time for it's casting time for me is zero actually because I have reduced. Yes, yes, okay. Oh, lucky! <laughs> the words almost speak themselves through you. The cosmos to which you have dedicated yourself fills you with its energy, and in the onset time, you slow the effect of the poison. You can feel it still burning within your body a lethal dose that unless removed will kill you but not just yet soon but not yet Bagal Bagal Ra so that other guy the other Alan is still alive right yeah and he's loaded another crossbow bolt and then he's about to shoot it at you no I don't think so um Oh, okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, right, I will be uh, shooting at him then, again. With your crossbow again? Yes. Go for it. Does that hit? Yes, by one point. Excellent. Uh, you bypass his armor class 22 and hit with a 23. The crossbow bolt whistles through the air. Nine damage. Nice. Uh, the quarrel buries itself right in his upper chest. Uh, he grunts, coughs, and... Oh, okay. Um, the acrobatics you don't need to run every round, by the way. Oh, okay, good. Um, because that was a fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the damage is enough to drop him to one knee. He raises the bolt in your direction, squinting down the length of the hand crossbow, hand wavering. Um, Ra? I run over. Well, first things first, actually. I grab the three tags on the back of the guy on the floor. <laughs> 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 and, like that matters. And then, and then I run over to the other one. And yeah, I just, I, I whack him a bunch with my Latulis. Um, okay. Uh, that is... Oh my god. 36, okay. 36, 27. Yeah, all three hit. Which is... 20, 23, 18. Uh, 20, 43, damage. 53, 60... 62 damage. Oh, 61 damage. 61 damage. damage. Uh, he had five hit points left. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, oh, did you kill like, me? I just keep so, whack, several I, times. I heard my friend Tin drop. Yes. So she is just screaming and just. D this guy is chopped. You know when you like chop like a spring onion? And it's like little, like diced and stuff. Oh, yeah, like, that. That's what he's like. Minced he's meat. just <laughs> he's just chopped into like loads of tiny little pieces. It's basically okay. a, big, a big white stain on the car. On the, on the... He looks like You're... a... I'm not going to finish that sentence. 
Looks like coleslaw. You are dimly aware in the midst of this ra of Rika's calling for the match to be halted, of the braying of the horns of the stewards. The rest of you can see the red flags waving. You're aware of a considerable amount of commotion up in the crowd. Bingle bangle. To your side, Constantine pulls, you pull yourself upright. A short distance away, Ra has um, completely devastated the remaining gladiator. There's just a horrendous white mess. And this, the people in the crowd can see. Around you, you hear voices, Matthias, Portek, Macfari. What is that thing? Where's the blood? There should be it should be red, shouldn't there? There should be lots of red. Normally when she does that, there's lots of red. As for Caxitus and Diamina, both are your prisoners. I presume you take them into custody yourselves, or are you handing them over to uh, to the Tyrian guard, whom even now you can see working their way up through the stands toward the latest uh, I am going outrage to the, that you have been party to? Essentially, while she's standing there confused, I'm going to use that, that opportunity to just take away any kind of weapons or pouches or any kind of things that like look like they could be used offensively. Yeah, um, Diamina has nothing like that. She has a pouch that's got that's got um, so, some coins, some gems in, uh, what appears to be some combs, um, uh, a little little makeup kit, uh, just personal effects. Right. Nothing. We need to, we, uh, what about we need to get buckets. her to the school of thought yeah. and have a metal bucket put on her head? Yes, but we need to tie her up as well. Yeah, I do mm -hmm. that. I tie her both up while we're marching her there. Yeah. And she will be, uh, as I understand it, uh, confused for uh, another twenty minutes or so. Uh, it's uh, she gets a save every round, but that only okay. she only gets a save if she, if she's higher than tenth level, she is. or if her intelligence is higher than twenty one. It is not. Okay. Uh, what but, kind and of every and hold on and every time she saves she does so at a minus two penalty, but it is adjusted for wisdom. Okay. For and what save. what is what what is her this spell this spell is what kind of spell <laughs> chaos. <laughs> It's yeah, an enchantment what, charm. Enchantment. Yeah, okay, so it actually she gets it worse because my Minus medicine five. affects yeah. her. Well, she's rolled a yeah. natural one, a four. <laughs> <laughs> and it lasts, like, like it lasts ten five, rounds, five, so ten minutes. Throws, yeah. five, five in total to get her to another four. That's one, four, four, two more. Okay, uh, by this point, you have her out of the arena and marching her across the intervening ground toward the golden uh, golden citadel. I will have cast in a... Uh, uh, technically, you're supposed to roll what she does each round as well, but I guess, you know. We're guiding her. She's tied up. Hold on. So. Yeah, because if you I'm, roll a seven or a nine, she can attack. Yeah, and I'm casting a charm person on her just to get to my uh, thing in on the second round after my spell. That's the okay. second action. That's why I set up uh, the, the... The charm person... The charm person is she... F the, ooh. That's a pass. The 10 is not, however. So she remains uh, under the effect of the confusion spell for the entire... And you said a 7 or a 9, did you? There's an 8. A 7, 2, 9. A seven, so two, 7, nine. 8, and 9. She wants to attack the nearest creature for one round. Yeah, but you have a you have a bound, I assume you're yeah. saying. Yeah, so she'll just begin, begin get all aggressive, I guess. If yeah. Portex okay, Charm no. didn't work, I will try my own. She gets, uh, this, these are enchantment charm spells, so she gets a, a very yeah. bad uh, saving throw Hefty against penalty. it. Yeah, okay, no, um, that's another, that's, so the, finally that's a fail. And Matthias, it's your charm that uh, the finally punches through. And presumably the other one being held is he's just stiff and being carried off. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, okay. Well, we need to get. And you take her, you take her straight to the uh, School of Thought, do you? Yes. Okay, and what about Caxitus? Him straight He's also. Bobbing along. How long yeah. is he held? How long is he held for? Twenty rounds. Okay, fine. So both of them will be uh, in the custody of the school of thought long before either come out of the effects of the spell. We want to be present at the interrogation now. Mm -hmm. No, so we need to get tin soldered. 
Yeah, <clears throat> if you have any kind of uh, antidote or something would be helpful. So if I, not, we can we can go somewhere. Do we do do we actually know about this? Because at the moment, I, I'm I'm playing under the assumption that I don't know about Tim. Yeah. So also, Ra would not stop hitting the mush on the ground until she knew that Tin was okay, because she yeah, Tin, thinks he killed Tin. Uh, so, <laughs> if if yeah, Tin seeing you um, trying to, I guess, make clay out of sand and and white mush, you like you can stop now. I think it's dead. And uh, at that point, she would then one eighty, <clears throat> run over, and just give him like a huge hug and just uh, probably squeeze way too tight. Yeah. Um, just, I need to get to Matthias. And she she carries him. <laughs> She'll pick him up. And he's okay. just like, he would just be like... Uh, it's like a baby carry, so, like. Just Ra, resigning yeah. to it, like. Ra carries uh, Constantine off. Macfari, uh, Portek, Matthias, you're already on your way to the uh, to the School of Thought. Bagal, Bagal. The arena is uh, slowly emptying around you. Some of the stewards have come out and are dragging the remains of the Alans away, cleaning up the chariots. The dead Crodlu, the living one. Loot them. Rikus comes and stands by you on the sands as you watch the, uh, the drama of the day slowly wind down. So, uh, <clears throat> non-lethal, huh? Yeah, well, can you really blame me? He started it. I, uh, I thought you'd killed all of those goopy white things. Oh, no, probably not. They are, uh, yeah, more, for sure. Right. So what next? Well, here's a little piece of advice. If you don't trust someone, tell them to bleed red. And if they don't, yeah. <laughs> Listen, um, you and me both, we've shed a lot of red for this city. That is true. Is it for nothing? No. Has all of this been for nothing? It's not for nothing. This has all been very, very good for a lot of people. I just, I, uh, I have no idea how to deal with mind benders. I don't really either. But uh, there are smarter and more magical people that uh, will deal with that, and I will help them in any way I can. He nudges at a piece of weird white flesh with his foot. Well, you seem to have found a pretty good way anyway. Yeah. All right. Slaps you on your shoulders. Be seeing you, Bengal Bengal. Yep. Say hi to the lady for me. Thanks for keeping it non lethal. <laughs> ah, for you, anything. And uh, Rikus turns and heads back indoors, presumably allowing you to hurry as fast as your little legs will carry you to uh, catch up with your companions. The School of Thought is ready and waiting to receive Lady Diamina of Lubar and Caxitus, last son of Maytan. I understand you want to be present at the interrogation? <laughs> yeah, that would be helpful. Uh, that seems to me then to be an ideal way to begin our next session. You twerp. We will, oh. we will, <laughs> so rude. We will leave it there. <laughs> twat or not. 
<laughs> Can we bring it back after I find somebody to cure this poison? <laughs> um, they will have, uh, if Portek doesn't have the ability, Portek they have the ability. Come. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll hand over the scroll so, to Portek as well, actually. Okay. Yes. Uh, well done for surviving another day in tears. Some uh, some super deep role playing there, people. I was uh, I was particularly impressed. It's good to see the characters come to life. Um, and Thank then also you. Uh, some some <laughs> you know, you're welcome. And then some wanton murder <laughs> in the arena. This is what we that's what we're really here for at the end of the day. Yep. Um, thank you, viewers, and those of you who donated. Um, that was super, super, super. Um, even though it just made it worse. But there you go. Well, you, you did get a D6, but I don't know if you used it or not. I didn't use it. No, oh, there was never. You've lost it. Uh-huh. So I didn't use it. Uh-huh. It's gone. <laughs> Thank you, anyway, Mama. Do it. it. 